What's up, guys? This is Heiss. How are we doing tonight? Is it working? Looks like it's working. Uh, I figured we're going to strike while the iron's hot. We, uh, we played a little bit of Railroader. Uh, was it yesterday on stream? It was yesterday on stream. Earlier in, <laughs> earlier in the day yesterday. An early stream. We were nice to the East Coast. But now we're going to be mean to the East Coast because I just got done editing a bunch of other crap. Uh, our next Walther's Builder World episode will be coming hopefully later this week. I need to get some symbols. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Uh, hello, RC one thirty six has spawned the birds and we're barely even started here. Why, thank you, friend. Have you even pulled the game up on stream yet? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So, uh, got done with all that stuff. So I figured, hey, you know, let's play the game, get some more thoughts about it. Because I want to I want to put out a video um, about the game it just as a general review, kind of talking about the audience. Because I think I had different expectations for Railroader when I went into it. And I think I have a better understanding of what it is about and who's going to like it now. And so I want to do a nice, honest review of it um, in a more formatted, like, rather than a gameplay kind of video, um, probably later this week before it comes out. Um, and I also want to do that before Khan and I start our series on it, because Khan got a key. So uh, it sounds like we're going to be having a little fun there. So um, we'll get into things shortly. Uh, Brett and Greninja, who are in Discord, this is your your 30-second maybe-ish warning that I'm going to jump in uh, and hop on chat here. But <clears throat> anyways, Thade, it's working, but only because we threw out the FR World Guidebook. Beautiful. you love to see it. Uh, let's see. IDK, what's going on? Tuba, Sousaphone. I do know the marching tuba, the Sousaphone. If you don't know what it is, please look it up on stream and give your action to it. Or bass, guitar, upright, etc. I mean, I prefer the bass. I know what the sousaphone is. It is a tuba that you can actually, the one that wraps around you that, that like, if you see a marching band, it's not a tuba, it's a sousaphone. Um, it, they're both, they fill the same role and you can have oompas and things. But anyway, uh, I prefer the bass because uh, I've got this one that's very green right next to me right now. Um... And then, of course, I've got the upright, which I would go get, but that would take the next five minutes. So <laughs> anyway, thank you, Kevin Beverly. That was cool. How are how are things going? Going well. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Dan Tanner, have you seen any of the info or teasers for Trans Siberian Railroad Simulator? I've seen the clip of a man drinking while driving a train. Uh, so I think we need to try that. So anyway. James Patterson, a railroader stream. You must have not been railroading to railroading at the railroad for Polar. That's tomorrow. Yes, I'm on the extra board tomorrow. So, and Jordan Freeman, does anyone know what Santa Fe steamer is featured in the new Kia car commercial? You believe it's numbered 604? No idea. I did not know that it was in one. And Joey the Cat gifting five memberships. Thank you. All right, jumping into Discord chat. Hello, friends. Oh, it's a Brett and a Greninja. War. How are you? Like doing good, doing good. I edited a bunch of videos and stuff, and now we're gonna we're gonna play a video game. We've gotten um, we've gotten a little bit more advanced since we played yesterday because um, I got off of the stream yesterday and I went and had a very nice date, which was wonderful. Um, very nice. And then afterwards, nice. I came home, and then we proceeded to continue expanding the network for quite some time. Uh, and so here we are now, uh, the ESND T number two to be clear. in the, yes, in the, uh, in the video game, the number two, the, the, the poo, the, the 10 wheeler here is, has been fixed. Uh, it was a little Brown at the end of things. Uh, we had a, a oh, no. smidge of, uh, an unfortunate thing that I wish I had on video. Um, but we did the last hurrah of. Uh, both locomotives, the, the, the new engine that I have, the number one, the Atlantic ran out of water. Um, and then the, the number two had run out of coal and it ran out of coal 
uh, or we ran that one ran out of coal and like was stuck on the main. And then I had to grab it with the Atlantic and shove on it with like a hundred gallons of water left in the tender. And then it ran out and then we coasted to the, uh, to the coal loading and got, got the number two fired back up to drag the number one back. And it was like, man, I wish I had that recorded. That would have been a shit post, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> So uh, we have three engines now and a lot of contracts. We still have the same amount of railroad as before, uh, but we have a couple more cars and we probably have, it's a new day. We probably have a poop ton of switching and road service to do. And this is kind of where this game is kind of coming into its light. Um, one, one train single player is boring as fuck. Two trains single player still, still not great. But when you get three trains, and you're managing a couple AI trains and you're running one train, it's like, okay, this is not a train sim. This is a railroad sim and we're enjoying the operation of the whole railroad. Okay. So, um, we're going to, we're going to be doing a little bit of that. Yeah. But uh, we've got some, I've heard some 346 bells in my ear. So let me check the chats here. Nathaniel Lombardi, you need a good reason to not quit your job. Um, I, can, I don't money? know if I can... <laughs> money is money? an reason. Money and insurance. It is, uh, is a reason, yeah. I mean, the, Insurance is a good one. The, the best thing is uh, f get a new job lined out, and then then you go and, uh, and, and you toss middle fingers and stuff and words and stuff. So, anyway. <clears throat> oh, birds! More birds? More birds! Yeah, more birds. I was trying to read a text from Dusty, and then all of a sudden there was very loud trumpets and other things, and oompa. I was surprised. I thought you were doing polar tonight. No, I'm doing it tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Ah. Yeah, I guess Dusty and Dusty is getting Sunday Mondays off. Jeff's getting Friday Saturdays off, and then Mon Friday Monday is kind of going to be my kind of thing for the next little bit. I I'm sure it'll change on the night too, but. Anyway, probably Roscoe Montana keen to see some more pro MLG fly switching. Let's go. Yeah, that that clip from the last live stream is going to go in my review video because that was the that is the funnest thing that has happened in this game so far. Um, that was awesome. Yeah, Brett, yeah, it, you probably didn't see it. Um, I did I, not. This is the first I've seen of this game. I okay. haven't seen any of the other gameplay I, videos. I streamed it yesterday a little bit, and there's more birds! I didn't even get to the first set of birds! <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. The economy is dead, and chat killed it. Chat has killed the economy again, and I'm going to continue conducting this German march of parrots. <laughs> Oh, thank you, friends. I, I'm trying to go down the list and get people as I get there and also explain things. But um, there was a moment, Brett, yesterday on stream where I did a flying switch going 30 miles an hour uphill with four skeleton log cars behind me, went diverging into the siding and they were behind me and, and there was no good way to run around the train. So I did a flying switch with like... 200 feet to stop my engine past the switch before the end of the stub and then like 300 feet up a two and a half percent grade to the spot and to stop the cars for loading and unloading and it just went perfectly while everyone was like this isn't gonna work and I was just like eh. I'm <laughs> glad to hear that you pull this crap even off camera like the stuff this crazy <laughs> stuff that you do is not just for the audience it's because you are this way I mean, I am this way. That was that was on stream. That you can watch that clip. Somebody clipped it oh, okay. in the Discord. That it that is a thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> the running out of coal and water thing is. Uh, that yeah, that was that was that. off camera. That was funny. So yeah, that that was hilarious. Anyway, Ezekiel, be the best engineer I've ever seen. <laughs> but you have heard <laughs> of me, Ezekiel, showing up, gifting fifty memberships. Thank you, T Twelve Productions, Zoomy Passenger Cars on me, and Cursed Model Trains. Well, we love it all. The lads, 3 a.m. for you, got school today, can't sleep anyway. Uh, I mean, put the phone down and try and sleep. Like, if you're not tired, hang out for, like, 30 minutes. If you get tired, then put the phone down and, and go to bed. Sleep yes, is important. Yes, go EP. EP time is important. Go EP. Then Chris Gill with the 50, the second set of birds. Sir, there's been a second set of birds. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Thayde also gifting 10. Uh, chat is... Uh, ridiculous we haven't even moved we haven't even turned a driver yet we haven't even looked and seen what cars we have to get 
Dominic Frizzy, welcome to the Breakman. And Vetga Ve Veg Vegtam. Vegtam the Wanderer. Oh, oh, hang on. I gotta pull up a thing for this. Uh, uh, <laughs> where, where, uh, do I not have that? There it is. Okay. Uh, Vegtam the Wanderer. Retro. You're welcome. <laughs> I have to go find my reverb plugin for that. I, honest to God, should just make it part of my actual analog uh, signal chain. But anyway, uh, somebody retracted their message. So sorry about that. Nathaniel Lombardi, you don't get insurance and you only get paid 13 an hour to do the manager's job. Uh, I would pull the pin on that then. <laughs> find a new yeah. gig. That blows. That's, that ain't great. No. 13 an hour, you can make more than that flipping burgers. I was gonna say, you literally can these days, depending on where you are if you're not in a city, of course, yeah. it may be harder, but anyway. Mr. Shooter 4, hard to believe you've been following your shenanigans for 8 months. Guess I'll have to break out the blue spot again. Cheers to many more. Cheers to you. I, I'm, I'm enjoying water and a Coke Zero on this evening. But uh, blue Works spot, ooh, a Coke. tasty. I know. Can I'm you believe shocked. it? I can't. Why? I got a Pepsi. A Beepus. Beautiful. I got water. Joey the cat. Why? How has the Minecraft economy not been killed yet? Uh, I. Good question. I haven't played on the Minecraft server yet. I've been told that it needs a little bit more love before we can play. William S. Gifting ten memberships. Ten months. Ten memberships. Thank you, friend. Appreciate you. Uh, Northwesterner. In the modified words of Lee Iacocca, people want the economy's head, and they'll pay any price to get it. <laughs> Slightly modified Everybody's words, but you know, yeah, that's about what he meant. Uh, <laughs> pretty much. It's very good. Transit Biker Bluetooth Brake Stand is basically a remote 10 out of 10. Uh, again, as we as we said yesterday, uh, they said that it's early access and that the models are being worked on still. So we are going to refrain. We're going to keep the cockatoo sounds inside and not talk about some of the things on the locomotives that make me want to commit atrocities <laughs> but they uh, they said that they're working on it so i will take them at their word and if uh a year goes down the road and they haven't fixed the things uh then i will complain very loudly anyways so uh let's see what do we want to do today uh there is apparently a report i don't remember um it doesn't say what we, i guess so I, I will fly around with our camera and figure out kind of what's going on. I know I've got an empty here at Whittier that needs to go to the Silva Interchange. Um, we want to take our caboose and sell it because the caboose is fucking pointless. So we might as well go sell that. We've got several empties at the um, at the sawmill here, and we have a true true to the railroad. Oops, I spotted your car at the wrong industry, but I already left the cut of cars, so I'm just going to leave it there and grab it next time. <laughs> we've got that to respot. Um, looks like we've got log cars that are empty that we can go and load. If we go to Whittier itself, that industry is empty. Um, let's see. This car is still unloading. This tank car will unload probably around the heat death of the universe because it's been <laughs> spotted at this industry for, I think, six days now, uh, and it's only half like halfway unloaded. So it'll get there. They're, it's a car full of rice, and they're unloading it with chopsticks. Yes. Uh, I think Casey was saying it last night that uh, the union is strong in Railroader. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> the car unloader is union. <laughs> so. I'm glad. <clears throat> Uh oh, Con, Con's in chat. Chessy fan fifty nine forty three months already. Also, maybe a new series with Con. Speaking of Con, I see him in stream chat here. He was saying we should play some multiplayer, so uh, we'll, we'll probably do a video on that uh, at some point uh, when we can film together here. Because he got a he got a uh, a key. So, Dean RGW Caboose fourteen eighty three. The man, the myth, the leprechaun, the legend. Wait a minute, one of those isn't the right one. Anyway, hey, I am a useful engine. <laughs> Or a caboose. Don't, don't, ah! don't, don't make no. me think of the things that occurred at your house on Thanksgiving, my friend. But thank you <laughs> for being a fireman for a year. You are a useful caboose. Um, yes. Anyway. Caboose. Let's see. These cars. Okay, there is a box car that's ready to go at Ella. That's not. All these. All the rest of these are like just totally loaded so i don't even think we'll run a freight to ella i don't think that's worth it um let's see 
Thade, have you evaluated the stats for the locomotives yet? Obviously, the decapod and the larger locos is the Burke, are the king of the heat with tractive effort, but any other good ones? Um, I pulled a significantly long train with the, just the base 10-wheeler the other day. Um, so we bought the Atlantic because it was able to be purchased, and it didn't have much tractive effort, but it's got big drivers, so it could, it's a speedy boy. Uh, I've not looked at any of the other engines, really, in, uh, in sandbox mode, because... Um, the en as we said, we're holding the comments about the models to ourselves because early access, <laughs> and they said that they're going to be updating them. Uh, so I haven't felt the desire to go check out the other models because uh, uh, I don't want to know what new horrors await me that I do not wish to uh, just very rudely comment on uh, if they are still working on it and I'm, I'm getting an early, early access version of the game. Like I said, if they if they choose to not rectify the problems with them down the road, uh, then I will have uh, many cockatoos sounds to make. So um, <laughs> that's kind of my opinions there. Yeah, so the bigger engines, I mean, they're super expensive for career mode, but that's kind of that. Uh, we've got these two pulpoid flats that we got to pick up here and take back to Silva. Oh, so George Gaming for all the choo-choos and freight. Also, hi, Brett. Thank you, friend. Train Traveler, the Fre Fremont, Ulnar, and Central Krill. Reporting mark. Fuck. Uh-oh. Yep. That, uh, there you go. Transit Biker, modeling trains like that way is uh, way above my pay grade. Much love to the devs. Seems like a neat game. Can't wait to see the multiplayer content. I agree that the gameplay is interesting. Uh, it's not what I was expecting, but I think multiplayer is going to be really fun. So I'm excited to play with Khan here. Uh, another tank car that's never going to be unloaded. Okay. And then uh, that cart. So we don't need to touch those cars at Dillsboro. Uh, da, 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 da. Dillsboro. Yes. And then like our passenger train spotted ready at the end of the line here at Silva. With now with three cars. That coal car is not ready. And then we've got the big, big pile industry at Silva all the way over here. Oh, yes. That, the paperboard. The paperboard, which has... Ow. Uh, a lot of random cars that are ready to go and some that are not ready to go. Um, oh, no. So that's going to be fun to deal with. So we'll probably uh, set up an AI train to do stuff. And then we've got, okay, then we have some stuff that needs to be spotted at Dillsboro, uh, Dillsboro and then Silva Paperboard at the interchange. Okay, so we got our work cut out for us. We need an engine to get down to this end of the railroad relatively soon. Um, we need our passenger train to run, and we need to do some logging stuff um, and pick up any other empties back towards Whittier. And I've already forgot what the heck, uh, <laughs> what the heck empties there were. I don't think either. No, the, no, neither of those cars were empty. So we'll, we'll we'll do. We do have the East Whittier stuff here, so we'll grab those with one engine, set them out, build a train for the Atlantic, presumably to take. Um, to the end of the line while we do some switching in the log run, I think is probably going to be the move. So we will, um, I won't jump there yet. I need to get the passenger train queued up to do its thing, which I've already gone too far. That's fine. <gasps> okay. So if you could stream to discord, that would be awesome. Sure. Let me do that. And then let me catch top chats and we'll start setting this thing up. Cool. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Bobby's Enterprises cockatoo sounds are all over here. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel that. Uh, and Andrew P, when do you stream with the VRA crew? When they get a real version of uh, the game. They still have the tester version of the game. So they have a different build than I do. We, I was going to stream the multiplayer with them today. That was the original plan. And then we can't play together because they don't actually have the true version of the game. So... <laughs> shrug that's um, a shame but you know when the game releases i'm sure that that'll all be sorted out so grant dolan when music said... sorry go ahead sorry you i was go. gonna say when you said the gameplay wasn't exactly where you what you expected is it because it's a lot heavier on the management side and contracts sort of thing um th yes and there's not really much to do about actually operating the trains um I've seen, I saw a lot of the virtual ramp fan stuff where they're in first person. And when people were setting out cars, they were really role, role playing the brakeman engineer kind of thing. And that like most of the game while switching is pretty involved like that. But while running over the road, 
there's not really anything to do, which is why I said earlier it's a little boring until you get several locomotives. Um, because then see. you're then you're managing truly, and you can be sw- switching and doing the active thing on the active train, uh, while the others are running down the line. But running down the line is re- really not entertaining. Um, so, uh, managing multiple trains, and when you get into multiplayer, and then you're actually hanging out with friends, it really does the model railroad obsession kind of overshooting the shit, having fun kind of vibe, which is really cool. Um, and when you can't go to someone's layout or, uh, nobody, none of your friends have a layout or no one's got money for a house in this economy, screams, dies, all the things, uh, it's a nice way to get that sort of feeling and flavor. I think, um, the interesting difference though, is that if you go and run model trains at someone's model layout, you get to see the time, effort and labor of love over years, decades, maybe of time they put into, um, scenicking their railroad and everything and all the heart and soul that goes into it. And this very much still feels like it is an unpopulated river next to some tracks, next to some trees, and that's it. Um, I see. There's not much time put into it. And again, that's early access, and they've said explicitly on the menu that, hey, there's going to be updates, we're going to be adding more buildings, and we're addressing that sort of stuff. That's the last thing they're doing is kind of an art pass. So maybe that will improve, but right now it's like, okay, uh, this is scenery that looks like scenery from Microsoft Train Simulator, and there's no operational complexity to my train, and I am bored, so I'm going to blow the whistle because there's a couple whistles that sound nice in the game. That's where I got to playing it until I got multiple trains, and then you can kind of keep the action going. So kind of an interesting balance of things. I think it's a great start for early access. It's really smooth. It's really, like, the core functionality of the game works. I've only come across, like, two bugs, and they were always, like, non-session-ending bugs. They always were able to be reset. So, um, like, eh, there you go. So, I mean, it's a really good start. I think it's going to be a really good game down the road. But uh, it's definitely got a little ways to get there, too. Grant Dolan Music, Even in Highest, really enjoying all the uploads recently. Hope 20 had a good night to sleep when you put her to bed. Uh, she didn't actually. <laughs> that was the funny thing. I got a text from Jeff the next day going, uh, hey, what what's going on here? Blah, blah, blah. What, why is there very little water in the boiler? What happened with 20 last night? And I was like, I put her away. Me personally. And I filmed it. Like, I know she was good. Uh, and <laughs> some point have during, proof. at some point at the end of the night, she must have bit on something with her check valve when the check valve um, closed. And so the check valve got mad and steam cut through the night or something had to be remachined, but uh, it leaked out a decent amount of water, which is why we put a bunch of water in it. There was still water in the glass. It's not like there was a danger or a problem or anything. Uh, and it was low enough on pressure that you're able to pump more water in it anyways, mechanically. Uh, but it was like, oh, she's not happy. What the heck? And, and the check valve was fine all night. And then after that night, it was very mad. So, uh, uh, that that which happens is, sometimes, so which is bizarrely out of character for her. That's it is something that ninety one does constantly. Yeah, it was but a new one for twenty. For, but for twenty, that's a new one. Yeah, I don't know. She's learning. <laughs> the, they they didn't... do talk to each other. It does happen. <laughs> John, dear boy, for the Zuma. Looking forward to seeing more shenanigans in Railroader tonight. Thank you, friend. Uh, if we're saying for the Zuma, I did post. In uh, a couple different places, I posted what Brett had been working on. I posted a couple pictures, so uh, we'll we'll bring at least one of those up on stream. Spoilers for Tuesday. Uh, we'll be implementing things that Brett has done again. If I can get them done in time. Well, at least have the you, domes. You to have play the two with too, smaller but... things, I guess. Yeah. Yes, I do have the domes, but uh, there's also this, which is uh, actually engineered saddle and put together with hardware and piping and valves and ports and packing glands and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. (laughs) So that that's exciting. So thank you, John, dear boy. Northern Isle. This does feel like a spreadsheet simulator at the individual level. I can't wait to get a full server with waybills going. I can't wait to play multiplayer where I don't have to deal with the waybills because that's just not how my brain works. Virtual Railfan, thank you for gifting 10 memberships. And Chill Phil, thanks for the gift. By the way, someone wake up Carl. Uh, Carl may never wake up. Uh, we don't control him. He's uh, He's got troubles. Rabbit Squirrel, is there going to be a high six chime option for whistles? Love that whistles. In this game, I don't know. 
if Adam reaches out for a recording of my whistle, uh, we might be able to do that. Uh, it's, it's in Century Esteem, I can tell you that. But uh, anyway, Pilot Pegasi gifting 10 memberships and Pin Throttle with a $5 super chat. Thank you. Okay, let's get this AI train on the road. Thank you so much for your love and support here. All right, so we will extinguish our fusee. That's how you tell the AI where to stop. Oh, and it's already it's already trying to, no, no, you have to load first. Cease, desist, stop, stop, select, Please. brakes, future. shut the throttle, future. future. All right, are these, oh, these are actually loaded already. Oh, they're all loaded all the way. I've got a train full of 180 people already. Okay, sorry, as you were. <laughs> I set it up before I went to bed. How about that? Look at me. Road, uh, reverse, full speed. And now the AI will just run it and do the thing. There it goes. All right, so what we need to do now is make sure that the switches are aligned for it because it will stop short of trains uh, on the track. It'll stop short of switches that are misaligned um, and it will stop, uh, stop short of um, the few Z's that you tell it to stop at. So we need to put our engines on that end so we can put a few Z, I don't know, somewhere there'sville. Too close to the switch. All right, uh, that might be too far away. All right, we'll put it there. Um, let's see. RJ Strandland, have I seen the CTC panel? Not in person yet. I've only been playing career. I haven't played, um, I haven't played the, uh, the whatever mode, it is, sandbox mode. So I haven't I gotten believe the CTC. To play that panel unlocks when you get the bryson yeah it's a, a separate milestone i think so ah okay yeah um and then ronald guller popping in to say thanks for a gift about 20 minutes five minutes ago the birds did come out and i did miss uh pilot pegasi yay more seemingly good train games to play finally can say congrats on 100k thank you uh, so far so good i i do think um that this is going to be a very good train game but i don't think it is a hundred percent the way there yet but that's what early access is kind of about i do have to say that it is pretty thoughtfully and, and well implemented for what it has so far i think my only real complaint about things that i really don't like that i don't know if will change is that the menus are a little overwhelming and dense <laughs> but that's also me being a, a bit of a creative brain in some ways and staring at that's not my specialty so your results may vary I also would assume it's just a lot to take in, you know, and once you once you looked at it for long enough, you might uh, wrap your head around it. Also, doing it in single player versus having multiple people to figure out all the different aspects. You right. may only have to look at some menus. Right. Multiplayer definitely makes things a lot easier. OK, I definitely just went through and checked switches and did not put another flag stop or a few Z down for the little flag stop at Wilmot. So we'll have two of those set because the first one to Dillsborough is pretty small for the AI. And so now we're going to head back here and we'll do some switching with our little 10 wheeler. We'll go fetch out those cars um, and, and grab the car that we uh, uh, shouldn't have done uh, what we did to uh, and fix that. So anyway. Okay, come on, Choo Choo. Okay, do we have fuels and waters? We should. We have a fair amount. This uh, this ten wheeler does not have a lot of fuel and water capacity to start with, so I think that was my biggest problem was running it back and forth down the line and not realizing that I don't have any facilities at the other end of the railroad. Uh, there's a water tank at Dillsboro, but the only coal that I have is right here, and so that's a fair bit of a ways. I mean, that's thirty mile round trip. Uh, and it feels like the fuel consumption is higher than real locomotive fuel consumption, but it very much at the same time, like if you're treating it as a train simulator, that's very frustrating. But if you're treating it as this is model railroad or like model railroad ops simulator, which is really what it feels like, then it makes total sense because it's really gamified in that sense then. So it provides a challenge about running irrespective of the sort of physics angle right yeah which threw i mean it threw me for a loop and that's why i ran out of fuel in two engines because i was like okay 
Uh, game's called Railroader. We have these trains, and we implemented a bunch of different steam engines and all this stuff, and there's some care, like the whistles being Im implemented as they are, um, they're the best whistles on the market for a train game that is uh, going to be purchasable in the next two weeks, he says, <laughs> with the asterisk saying that um, mine are better because, of course, they are because I'm an opinionated asshole. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, like, so there's a lot of thought that went into that sort of thing, but then... Uh, it's like, okay, well then, but you don't really spend that much time actually operating the engine otherwise. So, shrug. Anyway, uh, handbrakes on the two nearest cars. Okay. So we'll just take this whole cut with us. Do we want to lace up air? I never want to lace up air. That's my secret. 94 Chevy Z71. Thanks, friend, for gifting the membership. I guess we'll lace up the air. Oh, and I did not do it the right way. If you shift click the glad hands, it'll automatically do the angle cocks for you as well. All right. Casmon Heist, I think it would be extremely fun seeing you play Space Truck Sim Elite Dangerous. You'd want to do cargo transit to see how you'd set up your jobs and route planning. I've heard good things about the game. I've never tried it though. Millbrook Railroad. Love the shenanigans with the switching last night. Back for more after an afternoon of tamping and leveling track in the rain and snow. I hate to tell you, Aaron, but I don't know how much good tamping does when it's wet out. <laughs> if you're tamping into the mud, uh, I mean, I guess it depends on your on your ground layer, so you might be fine. But uh, either way, thank you for supporting layers. the channel. They've got layers. All right. Hooks up air uses the independent anyway. As long as you remember the cylinder cocks. Or eh. not cylinder cocks. The, the, the angle cocks. The angle cocks, yeah. Cylinder cocks exist in this game, but they're just for flavor. Oh, bummer. For cattle? For, for cattle? No, those are the jets. Uh, just the one jet. Just the one. Yeah, that's right. Just the one. Presumably just that. Presumably. All just right. the one jet, actually. It's just the one jet, actually. Just the one killer, actually. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, attempt to close the angle cock on the fly again. No, we're going to dynamite it. All right, well, we'll just bleed it on the fly because we can do that. And we'll set up these cars, and we'll just let that guy go bang into those other cars over there, and we'll deal with them all at once. Now that this is stopped, we'll close the angle cock. Oh, Tyler's here now. Commit ICC violations. Oh, that is uh, that is K28. what I do in this game. Yeah, Gib K28. Come on. <laughs> Gib. Oh, Gib. Never mind. I forgot we were Gib. alive. Sorry. <laughs> Gib. Gib. It's fine. Or railroader. Yeah, naturally. There actually is a K-28 in Railroader, but it does not look like you'd expect. Well, it's not the right one. <laughs> not that one. Okay. Uh, and I'll be a good kid and try to not damage this uh, shipment. Mwah. Like Chef's a glove. Kiss. Like a glove. Two Penny Studios, are there any known uh, stories about 499's personality I can speak of? Uh, or any other the other non-running K37s for that matter, i.e. the ones in the Nito. Not that I know of. Um, if you look at 495, I think 495 had a very troubled past. 495 has a redonkulously tall uh, set of hungry boards. Uh, at the back of the tender, it goes to the height of the doghouse. Um, and she has a crap ton of flexi bolts in her throat sheet when most of the other Ks didn't have any. Um, so it leads me to think that she had issues in her day and needed more coal and was not happy of uh, happy choo-choo in many ways. All right, we're, we're getting out and doing this live. All right, this is how you really switch in this game. You just go out here and do this and then do that and then just leave your guy there. We're just, we're just riding the step. It's fine. <laughs> Somebody said commit ICC violations and I said bet. <laughs> All right, let's get in into the hole here. How did you even? 
do that, and then we'll grab these cars and make sure that the uh, we can get the handbrakes on before that they absolutely clobber the other box car that's in there. And here we have an example of momentum. Oh god. Okay, I mean it did Ooh, clobber oh, it a little oh, bit. Oh. <laughs> It's bonk. fine. It's an empty. It's not a load. Go back on the tracks, you. Puh, 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 puh. Pow. Fixed it. Cool. Uh, mm, glad hands. Can I not control click on the glad? Oh, did this also derail? No? Uh, I can't click on these glad hands. Not sure what's going on there. Whatever. Hopefully they they are no longer in the foul. If they're in the foul, we're gonna have okay. That's fine. <laughs> we will deal foul. with that. Very powerful. I think you may foul. have broken something. Anyway, virtual rail fan. Fine. So it was brought up on the railroad Discord a few times about the whistle tech for Century Steam, and one of the members of the Discord basically said no to the idea of abusing that tech. Well, I mean it's proprietary, so we're not we're not planning on licensing it. So Mega Mikey seventy five, welcome to the conductors. And that's that. Okay. So uh, uh, this is what happens when you try and run through cars that are in the foul. Actually, this one might clear. I was about to ask. This one happens. might clear. Um, it depends on how in the uh, foul no. they are. It depends on how in the foul it is. Yes. So you uh, this one. Is this... That is a fantastic <laughs> quote that I'm sure will never. Be, that I hope to God never becomes useful or pertinent. It depends on how in the foul. Yeah. So that was. Uh, it was not in the foul enough. If it's in the foul enough, uh, you'll just make a horrendous bonk sound that will just sound like somebody's hitting a, a tank car with a sledgehammer, uh, over and over and over again as you stop and the switch just just doesn't throw. Which is, um, I mean, yeah, that's a way to deal with it. Did it just use the Gary's mod sound? They I should. got a DM. Source engine Mark physics happens. I got a DM saying either you're not coupled or you're derailed. Oh. Well, I tried to rerail both those cars. Now that I'm coupled, um, they're they're both they're both rerailed. Well, now that you're coupled, you should maybe try it and let's see what happens, I guess. Okay, now, we're, I guess oh, the, go. yeah, the couplers must, must have, been... oh, because yeah. it derailed, they didn't make, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Oh, I see, oh, I see. Is the frame rate just choppy on the stream? Uh, I'm getting 50 FPS right now. Okay, so it's just, oh, wow. I was curious. On your machine, you're getting 50? Yeah, I was actually kind of surprised by that. It's usually capped at 60, and it usually sits there. Maybe that I've got more train stuffs now. Maybe it's uh, a little bit uh, choppier, but I don't know. I have it your, set to your ultra. Your computer blows mine out of the water. Oh, if it's set to ultra, maybe that's part of it. No. I don't know. It doesn't look like you're rendering grass that far out. So. Grass. Grass. Blended grass. Grass. Right. Let's get the uh, Glass. let's get our caboose here so we can sell the caboose at interchange. <laughs> uh, Fifty. I'm I'm running 1080p. So like, yeah. I don't know if something's causing it to chug a little bit. Forty. I'm getting a little bit less than 50 right now. So I don't know what it is. It must just be number of cars. Oh, speaking of uh, cars and trains and things, uh, our passenger train has been ready to move on for the past probably. 10 minutes. It's fine. Oh, God. It's fine. Ooh. We're selling this. I'm going to sell them a crumpled wreck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Six mile an hour. Come on. I'm not the class one. It's fine. Okay. Uh, Maybe so SP will get it. We will go to Dillsboro real quick, and everything should be set for the train's next portion of the journey. They should be loaded, unloaded, so we'll just extinguish the flare. And let the AI do its thing. And we'll teleport back. You wreck the caboose so bad and sell it an interchange that it shows up in someone else's game and the tutorials fix the caboose. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. Colton's yeah, Taylor, sure something something 2101 hitting that passenger car. I mean, I mean, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Is there a video? There that? is. 
Uh oh. When was this? That was the, the the one where they were doing the shove and then they docked the corner up on the cab in the passenger car. Oh, I don't think I've seen that. It was a month or Whoops. so ago, maybe. Oops. Yeah, yeah I definitely haven't seen that. People made it sound a lot worse than it was. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I mean, obviously, it's like a really, and it was another like I think it was another live stream of real train stuff. Yeah, it, and it was, was just a live stream. Oh. it's just one of those. Oh, don't 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 do. Th oh no. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, please only do this in video games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. All right. Try this at home Let's... or at your work. Let's grab this choo choo. Put the central of Georgia six chime on it. I've decided uh, after playing with every whistle in the game, uh, the central of Georgia six is okay. Uh, the New York Central 5, which is what's on this 10-wheeler, is okay, and the Reading 6 is okay, and I pretty much uh, want to throw up at the sounds of the rest of them, but again, opinionated asshole. <laughs> I'm your mileage curious may as vary. You're, you're just an asshole. I mean, I know when I get this game, all I'm gonna put the only way I'm gonna put on all of my engines is the Reading 6. I'll just be sitting in the CTC booth. I won't hear any of this stuff. <laughs> CTC, I I, I'm excited to mess with that. Um, I'm waiting for a multiplayer session to really get put that to use because I don't know if it makes any sense in single player, even in sandbox, other than just be like, oh, it does this. Cool. <laughs> yeah, because you can just fly along everywhere and set your switches for your AI trains. It's not like you don't know where anyone is. Right. Actually, you were talking about sort of the role-playing aspect earlier, and I understand the utility of the third-person fly-around camera for a single player. I just wish, uh, or maybe hope, that in the future there'll be a difficulty setting where I can lock people in the first person. Right. For multiplayer, I think that it you really should have that option because, um, yeah, you can you could do it's super powerful to do it this way. That's absolutely for sure. How close is that to making a hook? Not very. Okay. We can kick off a handbrake here while we're here and a handbrake there while we're there. Oh, and the air is not hooked up there either. There we go. Recharge the train, please, friendo. There's probably a book somewhere about all the prototypes for these locomotives that they've brought in. Or, you know, a metaphorical book anyway. I'm just curious about some of them. Yeah, um, I'm not sure if there's anything in game specifically for it, but they all have uh, real prototypes. Hmm. This Atlantic in particular, I'm sure it's something else, but the way it's the smoke uh, box... cotton belt. Oh, it's cotton belt. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. I can see that. Yeah, the way the smoke box is set, it reminds me a lot of uh, some B and M engines, moguls, Atlantics, uh, with the two sets of or with the steps the way that they are. Yeah. Okay, so we just set this train. It's going to run all the way and do our switching at Silva, uh, Sylvia to go. Um, our passenger train is in between Cowie and Barker's. Barker's is double track, but he's running through, and he's going to stop at Wilmot. So we're going to hold the freight at Thomas Valley. So I'm going to jump to Thomas Valley, passing siding here, um, figure out which side I'm looking at. Okay, so the freight... Uh, we'll put the freight in the hole, and just by having the other switch lined for the main, uh, the freight will stop at that end, and then we'll, uh, and it'll just run on its own and just happily just plot its way there uh, without us having to tell it to do anything. There it goes. Will it tell you, hey, I've stopped? Yeah, you get messages in the upper left, and half the time I miss them, so. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be nice to have a uh, sort of unread messages thing. Uh, there is, yeah, I, I missed them, so I don't know to look for them. There is, uh, if you do in the console, you can see uh, it lists all the messages. So AI engineer said, hey, I'm stopped for a few Z when I pull up the console. Oh, nice. But it's a rather big window to have open all the time, and then I don't think about it. So um, that's just how my brain works. Fade by Heist, what about the... WM three chime. It's essentially a Hancock long bell three chime, not a hundred percent on the one. I mean three. It's the very last one on the list. Let's give it a listen. 
because I know that it's a different prototype or whatever, but most of them just sound like garbage. That one sounds okay. The, the quill range on it feels very wrong. So that's my biggest complaint. The recording sounds okay, but shrug. So I don't want to use it. Wings and strings. Wings and strings. Okay. Let's start getting this train taken care of here. This is the one we're going to switch out. So we're basically going to wait for the AIs to tell us that they're stopped for something. And we're going to go spot um, this loaded car probably at Whittier first. We'll probably kick the... Uh, kick the skeleton cars towards Connolly first, though. So I should probably bottle the air when I stop, because, uh, you know, welcome to uh, the ESDT, where the ICC can't find you. We will not be the next Diamond and Caldor, we promise you that. <laughs> That's the ESDT promise. All right. Get that switch. Okay. All right, let the air recover. I do, I of the little QOL things, this little readout for what the train's air is doing is fabulous. I love that. Uh, if I had to brag about a feature quality of life wise, I like that. Um, I hate the way that you actually actuate the brakes, but that's me being an engineer, engine man, not a uh, train management person. I honestly question why we have to deal with train brakes when train handling doesn't really matter. But uh, anyways, I digress. Bandan, of course the ICC can't find you. It's the ICC, not the ICU. <sighs> Limes. <laughs> What's weird is the ICC guy showed up and every one of the railroad was out to lunch. The darndest thing. <laughs> the railroad was on the anything. other end of the railroad. As always. <laughs> we'll play next time. Railroad best known for smuggling. What do they smuggle? Their own engines. Basically. <laughs> We're doing a shelter in place drill. The ICC man's here. All right, everyone. Hide underneath your desk, put your hand over your neck, and pretend that the nuclear bomb's not going to do anything to you. Right? That's how that works? <laughs> it, it actually does protect you. Yeah. We're Let's running to Mexico. <laughs> Open the switches all the way. All right, right boys. 20s at the other end of the railroad. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Inserts clip of 20 running into the quote-unquote dynamite-loaded flat car. <laughs> <laughs> nope, there it is. There's the message. <clears throat> you, you, jo you get employment on the RGS to have a good time, not a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes that'd be true 10 wheels 10 drinks baby hey man that was the grand <laughs> that wasn't even the rgs's rule all right number one has reached the siding so we will go and line the switch for the passenger train because they're almost to wilmot so we can just let them run through because the one's in the hole so we'll go there to the switch. Wait, if that was the rule in the grand, what did all of the map? Makes me worried for the 2882 crews. Hey man, if you're just running a pushing <laughs> service, open the throttle, open the throttle all the way or we'll wreck the goddamn train. I was gonna say it's not like I mean, they're going very fast. They'll be fine, probably. Yeah, they're probably handing over Allegedly. the they're probably handing over the train brake to the lead crew anyway, so they don't gotta do shit. Really, just... the, the, these cars really would just stop right there. I was hoping that they would continue to roll, but we'll apply a handbrake, and then this I mean, isn't gonna wreck on the switch. Fix that. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, True. yeah. Polling would be looks like it'd be such a good feature for this game. Yeah. So, like, if you do have cars on another track you need to get to, you can just pull the cars. 
Yeah. Okay, Fusey and the Gage, our uh, passenger trains reached the station, so we'll check out him in a second, right after we do a flying switch with this car. Problem. We've been an idiot. Solution. Big fucking stick. <laughs> yes. Big uh, fucking stick. I don't... Okay. <laughs> Pass. All right. So, uh, set uh, full reverse. Oh god, this is the hill. Hang on. We need we need we need beans for this. The hill. <laughs> Every division everywhere has the hill. Rescues Greyhounds. After watching put the train to bed, can you explain how there is still pressure in the morning from the previous day? Uh yeah, boiler t big boiler big, m much metal, much mass. Cool very slow because insulation. Uh and temperature pressure linked. So cool little pressure stay. Water also has a very high like thermal coefficient. It takes a lot of time and energy to like reduce the temperature of water. Also that. I appreciate that you explained that in like shaman speak. I <laughs> the words were hard in the moment for me. Okay. <laughs> the real okay. explain like I'm five is always in the comments. We uh we we dropped it at like 18 mile an hour. Uh, I'm gonna continue running fast and then I'm gonna break for the switch because the switch is like a number two and we'll just hope that it makes it up the grade I'll blow the grade crossing for the boxer car <laughs> <laughs> it's a transitive grade crossing if anyone didn't see that box car coming that's on them <laughs> you say yeah. they, heard the, they heard the grade crossing just didn't see the engine <laughs> They are, they are alarmingly slow when they're or alarmingly quiet when they're doing their own thing. <laughs> they really yeah. are. It's always terrified working at Interbay. All right, apply the handbrake. And oh. dunk. dunk, dunk. All right, and it's even, it's spotted in the right place. Look at that, seventy five dollars. Look at that. Can you imagine being around Lock, Meg, and Teeth when like seventy five like crude oil cars just flew through the night with no warning? God. Silent until they start exploding. No thanks. Yeah, until the whole town gets wiped off the map. Jeez. Yeah, I I could imagine being around there for the first part of it, and then after that, some my imagination just cuts off. I can't quite tell you why. <laughs> yeah, there's a, this guy by this like yellow fence. He, he's calling himself Saint Peter. What's up with that? <laughs> He's wearing a you dress, got a too. Santa? Weird. <laughs> burn, burn, burned bacon I mean, where, where gaming. Want, <laughs> Go, <laughs> calling I'm calling me out. Gets Atlantic, makes it haul freight. Leaves Mogul to pull the passenger train running backwards. Never change heist. Well, locomotive mean, is locomotive. You can't exactly. change that. You, you say the Atlantic shouldn't be pulling freight. There's The IC had a freight Hudson. Uh, speaking of, we probably should go check and see what that train's doing. It's probably ready to move on with its day. Gray Fox, does this game have a New York Central six chime? I don't know. Let's look. I think it's a five. That, that's mean, the one I'm using on my six engine. Is basically a Nathan six. But the um, Nathan six is the Nathan six at home. It's it has five Nathan six. It has a Nathan six. There is no New York six. Uh, the Nathan six, I don't seem to recall sounding terribly great, but we will. Grab I mean, most here. of these whistles don't sound like. Really well, I mean, that, if you're going for 1225, that sounds like 1225. If you're going for 765, nuh uh. It's a bit crushed 1225. Yeah, <laughs> it is, but it's 1225. A 12, but it's 1225 on a fucking NES machine. Like, <laughs> like that's that's the, the problem. Nintendo like, it's, system machine. it's it's not. Well, yes, okay, fine. With the the VMS <laughs> signs, yeah. Anyway, that recording not very good. I would not have shipped that recording myself. But again, opinionated asshole. I'm gonna put I'm the running six back on here. It. It, it's true. <laughs> Uh, it is. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's true. This man has no dick. It's, fine. it's true. It's true. It's, it's true. I okay. would not have shipped that myself, but every other letter is in capitals. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ellis. Ouch. <laughs> you wound this man. 
<laughs> oh, Jesus. Lily, you smell like tuna fish. Ugh. <laughs> Legs, Lily? Lily von Stupp or your cat? Lily von Stupp. <laughs> Lily, Lily, Lily. <laughs> Somehow I think you mean the cat. Uh, you mean... <clears throat> the cat. The cat. Meow. That kind. Meow. Meow, meow. Yes. Meow, meow, good. Meow, meow is good. Okay. Meow, meow is very upset that her human is out of the house so much. That is understandable. Let's see. Put a flag down there at the Jeppo for the passenger train. And we will go not dunk into our uh, cars here. You should dunk into your cars now. Oh, we have a Spinoto and a Bandan. Hello. Hello, friends. In a sense. Boy, the party's really starting now. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, you hi. bet. But he's here to see the game. Let's probably kick that handbrake off. At least it's not our row. Yeah, true. Yes. The bar we is underground. It's fine. CS Railway Society, gotta hear a Starbrass 5 chime. This is keeping you entertained, loading 105 coal cars at 0.35 miles an hour. One, get off your phone. Two, you don't want to hear the Starbrass 5 chime. It, 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 it will make you cry. I know you. You will cry. I will make you cry because I also know it's you, and it'll be funny. But it'll make you cry because it is pain. It hurts me especially because, Mark, I know you and I spent literally a week Starbrass 5. Three of our Starbrass 5s. It's so sad. It's very like sad. It. I think there's a couple. Whoa. They say that one's low. Do they? No, they don't have a second version of it. They call that one the low version, but there's no high version to go with it. Yeah. Uh there's a reason why we're running the, the New York Central 5 chime. Because it sounds like a Rio Grande 5. It does, actually. Because it's not actually a New York Central 5. I'm sure it's mislabeled. It's fine. That it almost sounds more like the DT&I one than their actual DT&I one. Well, they don't call it a DT&I one because they were, um, you know copying us when we didn't know what our, the oh. dt and i5 was the, yeah that was uh that was before Tell, jersey uh, custom flat top five chime yeah oh that's a neat oh, feature do it again uh the the doppler effect doing? intensified how are you doing back there r2 i'm not sure what's going on there but 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 uh, R2-D2 just got thrown by a trebuchet into the sun. <laughs> they, only have, they only have one star brass whistle, but you can clip a slide whistle. How nice. Fuck me. I didn't know star brass mocking whistle. whistle. CS Nobody Railway Society. Boo. Nice. Yeah. A, a John Deere boy. Uh, we can steal John Deere boy? Steal him. You can, you, can, you can bring all three of them. So they can come hang out. We're chill. We need a uh, mod for this game that changes the derailment sound to the Yoda dying, the Lego Yoda dying sound. <laughs> oh! Okay, I'm going to double check the, my... Get the X's from trains out. Oh, I probably should <laughs> oh let our God. freight train out of uh, Thomas Valley. Forgot yeah. about that. Should uh, probably let that do that. It's fine. Know. Sorry. Sorry, friendo. We'll line a switch for you. And it. this is just running to Silva Interchange. Um... I'm pretty sure caboose. I'm pretty sure it's lined like all the way there and I don't uh, we're so far from into track at Connolly that train does not need any help it's doing 25 mile an hour it won't derail that's fine uh, let's go to famous Silva he said <laughs> it's fine <laughs> they're always famous last words that's my secret um, we can put a flag there for a quote. passenger train later uh, we'll just line that switch real quick and then line this switch real quick and then I think it's lined through the pile of garbage here. Probably. 
we'll have it go uh, run all the way to the end of the interchange, drop off all the stuffs, and then we'll have it pick up those things. So we'll just put uh, put a flag right there. Too close to the switch. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. It Back to our train right. over here. Rescues Greyhounds, another question for you. What is the difference between an Atlantic engine versus a Pacific versus a Mogul? Uh, an Atlantic is a 442, a Pacific is a 462, and a Mogul is a 260. Are all wheel arrangement names. <laughs> Which, something I didn't learn until recently, uh, we had the names for the wheel arrangements before we had the numbers for the wheel arrangements by like a matter of decades like the concept of a 440 didn't happen until like 1900 oh wow i don't because, know like, white, no white notation didn't come out until then i thought it was earlier but no it was yeah. kind of the century i don't know what is wrong with their doppler effect code but sometimes it does hilarious things it's a feature. It's not a It's a feature. <laughs> Which is kind of just a like a byproduct of Doppler effect. Uh just by right. the thing. Like it is it is accurately doing what Doppler is, should do for how fast we're going, but if you were hurtling at the steam locomotive at six hundred <laughs> miles an yeah. hour, it would sound like that. I feel Brett, like this is to, where I did the flying them. switch at thirty miles an hour up the grade earlier. That oh, was how far geez. I had to stop. Ellis, it's time for train cannon. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> smells like Kenosha is starting to play, in case anyone was worried about that. Oh boy. Okay, uh -oh. so let's see, we're spotted here, and we found out last time that the thing to do with this industry is to just uh, make time advance so that we get cars. Uh, are they <laughs> spotted? Okay, they are spotted. Uh, where is the time? It's in settings. Wait an hour? Uh, are they loaded? Yeah, they're loaded. Look at that. Magic. Wow. Magic. Pow. Look at that. Does skipping time like that do anything else? It just makes loads and unloads and the time of day go faster. It changes nothing about the trains. Interesting. I, imagine, I no, would imagine change. and would require more verification, but I'm sure it also refreshes or alters the number of passengers waiting at a station. Oh, interesting. I could see that. I do not know that for sure, but I could see that. So I'd love to, you know, hit the time go fast button and watch the train zip along like it's locomotion and you've just hit the yeah, no, forward. It, it doesn't do that. Tycoon. It's not a physics-based um, tycoon indeed. thing. And then you get to see what the Doppler effect does. My, my cars are doing a dance. Oh, no. Do you want to start the main line too? Colton's Taylor, the garbage yard is literally Lionel Train Town. Feels like it, doesn't it? I've got a 25 pound set on this train right now, and it is just not doing anything. Huh. That's well, normal. You did say Kenosha's playing. I did say Kenosha's playing, it's true. The, uh, I just the... did point out his latest bit of hubris that didn't blow up in his face for once <laughs> in Kenosha's playing. It's fine. That probably won't derail, quote Mark Huber. But also, I feel a 25-pound set on, like, a five-car train should be doing way more. A 25-pound uh, set on anything is... is That's ridiculous. more than a service. <laughs> like, no. Uh, if we take more than about 12, our train cars start to slide their wheels. So max Jeez. braking is, like, 12. What's so. up, high guys? Guys? This is guys? Oh, God! It's a main line! We have a Hello. main line. Yes, it is me. Hello. Um, uh, I find it hilarious that the NYC5 it sounds more like a Dergwa 5 than, than the real Dergwa 5. 5. I agree. <laughs> it also took me this long to realize they're using DNRGW classification. They are using DNRGW classification oh, is for that everything. Oh, car jittering? It is. Yeah, a little yeah bit. it is. It's fine. Yeah, mainline. There's a K28 in the game. It's the wrong K28. There's a K28. It's a K28 wheel. There is a K28 in the game, but it's it's the Polson or the Rainier, or no, the Hammond Lumber 17, like the not a minaret minaret. Hammond. Yes, the Alco logging Mikado. That one. Yeah. Rescue Greyhound. Thank you. Yes, you got the wrong K28. 
the Yo, only one that survived the Shea race. Yeah. Does that mean a railroader is a DNRGW simulator? It is. Yes. The, Finally. The amount of people who accused us of that, like, oh, they only had Dergwa in the trailer. It's like, yes, Dergwa. Like the, oh, uh, we don't want Dergwa the, simulator. The, 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 like the North Pacific Coast, the South Pacific Coast. The, White uh, Past. Diesels. White Past. Carson and Tahoe Lumber. DSPNP. DSP. Uh, DSP yeah. DL and G. DNS. No, it's all it's all Dergwa. Is it just like SP and UP or all? You went to railway. RTS. All Dergwa always has been. It's, it's always all Dergwa. Razgris Gaming, have a drink on me, Heist. Thanks for all it, the fun it, content it, it, from the most curl cursed railroad state, New Jersey. Thank you, friend. Appreciate we you. Absor we absorbed everything for the grander good. The grander for good. For the grander good. The grander grander good. good. All right. And God forbid, New Jersey. Jersey. Passenger that, train is now leaving car. Whittier, and the Atlantic is still. Cruising along towards Silva. Cool. Add an ND. No, no, don't add the NDMK conversion. Don't do that. That that'll get yeah. Goose in, in here. Yes, do that. Yes, do that. Goose is already in here. Goose. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you know what? Fuck you. Enchiladas. Your K27. You know. You know what you must do. Oh, hi. By the way, and I don't want to just like backseat game you here, but you forgot to mark the caboose for sale. Uh, yeah, I should have to do that at some point, shouldn't I? Would be nice if the caboose, like, you know... Did something. Did something, yeah. Had a, had a yeah. purpose. What What is your purpose here? Heist sent me what to settle purpose? his debt. You passed the What is your purpose here? <laughs> what is it my turns life out purpose? I'm interchanging with Davy Jones. It's fine. What is my life purpose? You sit behind the train. Oh my god. Elizabeth Swan is at interchange like, I propose an exchange. <laughs> Parlay. Number three, stopping for a switch lined against us? What switch Holy is lined shit, against you? This chat is happening right now. There's a bunch of people in here. Yo. This is the most people we've probably had in MOBA W before. That's my first time here. When I got here, there were like three people, and I checked all the chats to make sure I was allowed to join. Well, I mean, you know. This seems pretty exclusive. Well, people got this dragging power. Pretty exclusive club. I've got to meet a certain threshold of retardation to be on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I have. I, I'm to very ask. acoustic. Unfortunately, you can't say the same thing about the whistles. Damn, got him. <laughs> this is just the, the savage car. stream. Jesus. <laughs> Yearly Gymnast 98 oh, from the Minecraft server, Denver and Rio Grande Trunk. I'm, i What? No. I'm not. Oh, yeah, I uh, came up with that. Why, why, just, the meme, it's just memes. It's all just memes. The Denver and Rio Grande Western Railroad. The Milwaukee. 6325, return to Steam. Covers the former Iowa Grand Trunk Western. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Iowa Interstate Jeevos. Fuck you, Chicago Northwestern. Fuck you, Chicago and Northwestern. Iowa Interstate Jeevo Locomotives. Dean, you gotta have a hammer bashed in your head to get into VC. Uh, that would probably help, yeah. Yeah, actually. <laughs> you need to be smacked yeah. with this coal scoop first over the head a couple times. Honestly, I, I... Well, you know, Mark threatened to do that to me and he still hasn't. It's true. But no, you, show, you showed up. I said, Mark. if you don't show up, I was going to do that. Yeah, yeah. And then you showed up. So just keep showing up. If you stop showing I mean, up, I'll beat you to death with a cold scoop. I've yet to, been, uh, I've yet to be able to fire yet. See, that's one of, that's on my bucket list, actually, to be lit on fire. Have done. It, it better be the last thing. Uh, I cannot fun. recommend that, like, officially. <laughs> Tom Scott did it so we don't have to. I did it, so the rest of y'all don't there's have a, There's to. cars that, that, oh, that the train was supposed to pick up in Barkers. I'm oh, standing we, here that's... engulfed in flames. Well, I guess we'll run, uh, we'll run something, so we'll figure something out. I was I'm standing to make here a at the coal power plant, and I'm about to be chucked into the firebox. Wusky, what in the Krispy Kreme Murphy branch is going on here? Uh, we're, we're spotting log cars. That's what's going on. Uh, the ICC man has gone away. Oh, We're actually... God, we I, the air is still tied in! What do you mean the ICC man's gone away? 
Well, we set him on fire, so we're, he left. We're not kicking. <laughs> we kicking. set him on fire, so he left. <laughs> Don't ever come back here. Don't worry, we're boys. When he's, the, when he's at the end of the railroad, right smile away, boys. Again. Smile and wave. Yes, and DT standard equipment, uh, a flask and a flamethrower. <laughs> we're definitely not kicking, you know, doing flying drop up the side of a mountain. I swear. Kicking? I want to do some kicking. They couldn't afford a flamethrower. You just get a box of matches, and half of them are used. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I forgot get to do a pickup with the Atlantic, room. so I guess I'm just gonna run this thing at full full beans in reverse. We'll go Nothing make that pick up. Happen. Nothing bad can Nothing happen. bad ever happens to the Kennedys. Nothing bad happens on the ESNDT. Considering uh, the discussion when we started, I will just put the, you know, warning like, hey, make sure everything has enough coal and water for what you're planning to do with it. I should have, I tried to, okay. Uh -oh. Oh, Nothing no. bad ever happens <laughs> to the ESNDT. It's fine. Oops. We browned the train. Brown. It's become brown. Congrats. And before I become brown. Some crew didn't realign the switch after they left here. I wonder who that sure. could have been. Some <laughs> asshole. Some asshole. <laughs> Two Colton white Stale. cocksuckers. Hey, don't deceive <laughs> W1385's well, that... darling. Someday she'll be back. Someday. All right, everybody. Mark sure. uh, uh, Mark past heist uh, screws over future heist on your bingo cards. <laughs> yes. ESDT number three stop for a few Z. That means that the passenger trains uh, at the end of track. Uh, I'm gonna put my uh, uh, character where he's most useful, which is just right here. And am I gonna need to make a am I twenty need to make feet a away from the point? gauge because he's basically just a foamer? <laughs> am I am I gonna need to make a railroader bingo card okay. again? <laughs> Probably. Oh boy, <laughs> beautiful. That's uh, that's what the, that's what the character's for, I think. I was gonna say there's switches behind you still. Good hitch. Stretch him. We need Gmod slapping. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, can we keep curling this game? Yes, that. <laughs> Sorry. I, I can't got, hear I you over the birds. Sorry, I got tripped up by OK Stretch him. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at all those dollary dudes. Dollary dingoes. <laughs> Nate Talks Cars, gifting 50 memberships. Thank you, my friend. And Jordan Freeman, Krispy Kreme is better than Duncan. That's a fact. I yes, don't I, I don't know if I... I will really agree with that. I don't think it's a competition. Oh, That's really? not a competition. It's, it's not a competition. Krispy Kreme is, like, hands down better. I don't yeah. think I have an opinion on this. I don't think I've oh, ever nice. actually gotten anything from a Duncan unless they were donuts that were brought to the museum by somebody. Yeah. And then they're free donuts. Yeah. Yeah. Best donuts. Yeah, yeah. Dun Duncan is Starbucks for the working class. Yeah, it's that's there. Right. It's there for you when no <laughs> one else is. Oh no! All right, let's oh, see. Wow. All these passenger cars are <laughs> empty, so we'll tell all the people here that we're going the other way. Copy to coupled, and then uh, operate. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 oh, I need to grab the, the engine. Uh, orders road forward forty five. Send it. Godspeed. Off he goes into the wild blue yonder. Yep. Lost again, son of a son bitch. Of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Why were you just singing the Air Force song? Well, because off he goes into the wild blue yonder. Yeah. And he's lost that, again. That, that, son of a bitch. My PTSD <laughs> so bad. Like we're I not like sing the Navy song. We're not in the ocean. Come on. <laughs> Keep not up. Like I was just like, lounging around, and as soon as I heard that tune, I just like sat up, like at attention. Like, oh shit, what's going on? <laughs> oh god, he's a sleeper. I thought we were interfering by the way. John Deere here's Deere. car. Book John Deere here's <laughs> Daniel McKee, six months. Woo, have you ever been to North Carolina and the Great Smoky Mountains Railway that operates over the remnants of the Murphy Branch? I didn't know that that's where, uh, actually, where or what the Great Smoky ran on. That's cool. Uh, I've been to North Carolina, haven't been to Great Smoky. I've been to Spencer, though. That was cool. Got to see the J when it was there. That's a, that's a big choo choo. Ah, uh, the J. And oh, I can't believe 611's here. Nathaniel Lombardi, you work for Dunkin' Donuts. What the fuck, man? Uh, weren't you the one that was also saying that you were trying to quit your job earlier? Yeah, <laughs> hold on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, 
I mean, I should I didn't clarify. Say it wasn't... I should clarify when I say Starbucks for the working class. I mean that in the good way. Like, it isn't. <laughs> you could just go there and get a good iced coffee for three bucks and not have to spend fourteen dollars for some like limited edition roasted chestnut. If we're not shitting on Starbucks, we're doing it wrong. Yeah. yeah. All right. The Atlantic I mean, has I'm made it. I'm someone who frequents Dunkin' Donuts, but I mean, I have no choice. All over the Northeast, uh, uh, there's one on every see. street corner. Sell destinations. Silva Interchange. Pal. I didn't even know where the nearest. Thirty-seven hundred dollars for a worthless thing with a cupola on it. Holy hey, crap! You can buy another mogul for that. <laughs> you can much. sell it to Caboose. Hey, all. <laughs> Hey, those Caboose make great standards. hotels when you rip Caboose them off does the have standards. That is true. Okay, uh, if I'm just yeeting that other train, uh, I need to tell him to go stop at Barker, though. If you so can't you trip the, the Dark Fan standard? If you can't yeah. trip the Dark Fantastic in the Caboose, then Caboose doesn't want it. <laughs> Daniel McKee, thank you for the uh, gifted memberships. This isn't Dergwa Simulator. That Caboose is too clean. Oh, sorry, we could make it brown, but I'm trying to make money off of it. <laughs> I was okay. going to say, give it a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. It will come back and be like, hey, you want to Corvid Raven, like you make, like make no, way no. more at Baskin <laughs> Robbins, same company. But you're also providing joy in the form of me pooping myself. <laughs> <laughs> For what, coffee or ice cream? Uh, I mean, yes, if we're being honest. Or are you lactophobic? <laughs> I am lactose yeah. intolerant. It is a single tear. I say oh, that so having eaten pizza for dinner house. tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's worth it. You, you suck it up and eat the cheese. You eat it, the cheese. There is a small chance that I like be like, okay, entertain the folks. I got to go be right back. And then I'm gone for five minutes. Um, and hopefully I remember to mute the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you're talking about your lactose intolerance. Would you like to tell the class what you made for Thanksgiving? Uh, a cheese-based dish called cheese pita that's from Croatia. It has <laughs> aged cheeses! It did not make me poop myself. <laughs> However, a caboose is very tasty, tasty, tasty mashed potatoes that had... He what? He looked me in the eye while sprinkling added, like, cheese into the cheese mashed in potatoes. He added, like, he three different kinds of <laughs> cheese to it while he's... staring you dead in the fucking eye. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> You sure you okay with this? I'm like, I, it's Thanksgiving. I'm gonna shit myself. It's what happens. That's <laughs> how it works. If there wasn't turkey, it wasn't Thanksgiving. There was turkey. The there turkey did turkey. not make me shit my. Oh, it was delicious <laughs> turkey. But at least, at least you got your consent for that. That's like medically assisted duty. <laughs> Pretty much. Caboose, he's looking at me sprinkling the cheese into the mashed potatoes, and he just goes, "You okay with this?" And I'm like, "Yeah, it's goose that's gonna ride home with me for the next hour and a half." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I proceeded uh, to not fumigate goose out of the uh, out yeah, of the car. You did. So you were welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Please tell me someone has seen the Geico ad with the Parmesan, because that uh, yeah, uh, that tell me one. one. <laughs> yes, yes, I've seen that. Is that a Geico ad? Is it? Yeah. That really, yeah, I, really. I thought it was a thought cheese it was ad. <laughs> it wasn't a cheese ad. It's not even for a specific brand. It's just advertising the concept of cheese. Kind of weird. I mean, not nearly as weird as the like billions of pounds of cheese the U.S. government has like stockpiled under a mountain. Okay, don't was, worry about that's that. That's not weird. That's smart. Y'all right. remember the Dutch Lannis level in uh, RT3? I remember that. Or like at the end of he each year, work. they okay. have this big all caps sign that flashes on the screen that says, Cheese is your friend. Yep. <laughs> I don't remember that, but... I don't either, but Cheese is your friend. Yeah. Well... Cheese is your friend. Not so. <laughs> People asked us why we like did a retrospective on that game because it's fucking great. <laughs> Best train game still. So. It's very true. All right, I'm getting dings was... and dings and things. So I got a couple top chats I gotta catch here. Nathaniel Lombardi, hey, don't judge. I can I can want to quit my job because the people and still be proud of the company. That's very fair. Uh, but something something something. People don't leave jobs; they leave bosses. That's that's the saying. Yeah. Yeah. Trip W7 or uh, TW07. Hey, highest sales railroad or so far? Uh, so far, so good. It gets a lot more interesting when you get more trains to play with when you're by yourself. Uh, when you have one train 
uh, it very much falls into the digital scenery simulator and gets kind of old. But uh, when you've got a bunch of trains to manage, it's actually pretty fun, uh, logistic wise, which is which is neat. So, because we are uh, we're dealing with basically uh, three different trains on different parts of the map right now. So, and I'm gonna set these cars right here, tie a handbrake, and uh, we'll catch the rest of these chats because they there's they are numerous at the moment. Let's see, Rex Anger, greetings from the upside down. Great to see everyone being professional, professional rail routers, just like that. Also, there ain't no friends like friends who exploit your weaknesses for funny. It's true. Let's see, what's key? Don't, the people are starting a donut fight in the chat now because of you guys. They, people just said <laughs> that the two brands and then you guys, you guys brought out like, this this like vitriol for the Dunkin' Donuts. Like, what the heck, man? Good. It, What's your favorite donut, guys? There's, there's no hatred for Dunkin' Maple here. There's bar. absolutely there's no, no hatred for Dunkin' Dunkin here. There were just there was just some very we're just uh, acknowledging that Krispy Kreme Krispy is better. Krispy Kreme just is better, objectively. Yeah. <laughs> you see, sort of, you see well, that goes. Donut, They're donut, sensationalizing you know. the donuts. Anyway. I will still eat a well, Dunkin' like donut, saying... especially if it's free. A donut oh, is yeah. a donut, all right? Exactly. I don't discriminate. This is true. But donut is if, donut. If I see Math a Dunkin' Math. Donuts on a street corner and I see Krispy Kreme on the other side of the street, I'm going to a fucking Krispy Kreme. Yeah. If you don't And then going like back to the other one for another donut. Obviously. See, this is what I get for bringing <laughs> it up again. Is people if you bring don't it up like Krispy Kreme, it's because you That'd haven't be had enough Krispy Kreme yet. <laughs> yep. Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. I mean, Dunkin' has other stuff, too. You know, it's... This is That's true. Why I don't feel like it's a competition. Yeah, it doesn't have the best donuts, but like I'm not gonna get an egg sandwich from Krispy Kreme. This is true. That is not true. a good one. They don't even have donuts in their title anymore. They're just Dunkin' now. Okay, oh true. no. Dusty's oh, yeah. coming in with a controversial opinion. He says Krispy Kreme donuts are too small. Uh, there it is. Uh, there he eat is. More of them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you hear that, Dusty? Eat more donuts. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's you, Jimmy you, with you, you could just MU donuts. And then we got Jimmy pointing out that the people who sell donuts make a lot of dough. Uh, yes, they do. Oh, uh, lime. Uh, to be fair, like a lime frosting donut would probably be really fucking good. Ooh. Ooh, I like, oh, a, yeah. like a lime oh, yeah. cream yeah. filling. Mm. Obviously, you haven't been to Krispy Kreme enough because they have those. Well, there you go. I, 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 the only thing we have out here is Duncan, so. Yeah, my ah, an hour and a half Ohio away, right? only has Duncan, therefore Duncan is inferior, because it's all Ohio <laughs> has. We've settled the debate. Moving We've on. Settled it. You, you that see, is solid logic. That is solid small logic. games plays. Hey Heist, what did you do with the 100k plaque you got, or is it still delivering? Are you kidding me? It's YouTube. They gave me a tracking number, and it still says the the listing will be updated when the package is picked up. So damn, they must be shipping it over UP or something. Probably. Yeah. Oof. Anyway, um, so yeah, we'll get there. And have I ever seen the Union Pacific 4014 big boy in person? Yes, I have a whole video about it, and it's like 35 minutes of Brett and I just being complete morons in a pickup truck. Yep, it's a fun we video. We visited Nebraska for the first time. <laughs> we did accidentally <laughs> go to Nebraska. Did they? Did and they you saw you all of Nebraska in about two <laughs> minutes. <laughs> you left Nebraska. It's true. We saw and everything we needed celebrated. to see. The big steam choo choo, and nothing else. The Swabian Simon, they... just money. Don't play guitar at the end. Don't play guitar at the end. Are you trying to reverse psychology me? Or are you just Apparently. not wanting tr guitar to happen? Because if you're not wanting guitar to happen, I'm, I'm like deeply offended. How, how dare you? <laughs> I'm on team more guitar. Official DNRGW, as someone who's lactose intolerant, you can have that pizza. You can, but it is dangerous. It is a violent thing sometimes, so... And then I see chat has turned into limes, and I'm still trying to catch up. Still trying to catch up. Uh, let's see. Let's not have a spicy dunk here, shall we? Just a nice, gentle dunk. We're switching with an Atlantic with drivers as tall as Brett. This is probably not the smartest thing <laughs> well, we could be doing. Well, it doesn't matter, because but... there's no wheel slip. Yeah, so. that, there is true. There is no wheel slip. The devs did say there's wheel slip, and I have yeeted the throttle to wide open... Uh, with every switching move I've ever done, full quarter, and uh, it doesn't slip. So I'm not sure if I just have a setting off or something, but I have not run into wheel slip. You gotta so. put butter on the rails. <laughs> they grease the rails, the goddamn tramps. Insert Dave joke. Ins yeah, they, uh. <laughs> they grease the rails, the goddamn track gang. It happens. Ah! 
Yeah. Sha. Dude. Sha. That, that, those, those two days were so, pain. I was going to say, that night it. was the first time I saw 20's wheels spark from a slip. That was pretty oh, sure. obnoxious. <laughs> so they just pretty turned the railroad into a slip and slide, basically. They did. Pretty oh, much. no, no. Just the really steep part. Just the really steep part where you have <laughs> the throttle open. Yeah. <laughs> The fun part. So it was just a slip. Had we so, gone so, down so, the other way, it would have been a slide. But So assume you have a frictionless environment, and you have a locomotive. Congratulations. Not even sand will save you, because the wheels are just <laughs> covered in grease. Yeah, yes. that was that was basically the situation. Cannot have roll without slip, without friction. Go away, you train cars. That's perfectly fine. Nick, Wathan, what about lacking toes and toddler ants? I don't know what you mean. Toblerone? What? Wait, what? I am I am confused. Oh, I've, I forgot to kick a handbrake off. Did I? Or did these cars just... They did not have brakes on, I promise. I was looking. Oh. I found the end of track that way. That's fine. I'm trying to yeah, do six mom. things at once, and let me catch up with Top Chats, because Top Chats and switching are not working out right now. <laughs> Thomas Perry, who needs passenger cars, just use flats. Yeah, the passenger trains um, do not make money, but they do add the Model Railroad MacGuffin obstacle traffic, uh, which gets kind of entertaining. Speaking of, we should probably go... Our train's probably like ready to leave Whittier. Side just... note, why do we have to use a fusee to tell the train where to stop? You have stations that don't change locations. Surely you could set, hey, this is a place where a train could stop. Like you only you only have drivers with short term memory loss, I think. Like I feel like that would be a very simple AI thing to do to just no, schedule they, a passenger train. But sure. they 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 don't have short term memory loss. They have long term memory loss. They don't remember where the stations exist. That's true. <laughs> Night Fury King, a fireman for a year. Gold lamp. What's up, Ice? What's up, guys? Thank you. Friend. I was gonna say it's only a concern when you look up symptoms of dementia and all the links are already clicked. <laughs> <laughs> I will yes. say I got my gold lamp today, according to YouTube. I got my gold lamp. Excellent. I'm very happy. You love to see it. Josh yeah. M. Shipley's Do Nuts is better. Uh, I'll have to take your word for it. No. Never had it. Two Penny Studios. Check Discord Mark for a Dunkin' Donuts Shipley's. meme featuring Dusty himself. Oh, yes. Yes. We, we have seen this. Do we, do we show this on stream? I don't need to be that mean to Dusty. This? I, I, I will I will send it to Brett. Brett, you can uh -oh. either send this to Dusty or you or you you don't have to, and then uh, and then he can determine <laughs> if it needs if it needs to go on on stream or not. But I don't feel a need to do that to one of my best friends. Oh, it's beautiful. I feel I, like Dusty would like it, but I will send it I to him. Think, so I not, think you know, he's, I think he's I think he's seen it before. I think, I think Leo so. made it. <laughs> if he can send, I mean, why not? Dusty so, just texted me saying he wants to see the meme. Dusty, I will send it to you. Send send the meme to Dusty. We'll get a approval if, he, if he's okay with it anyway uh so katana am i going to stream on december 20th 2023 my adhd cannot tell you if i'm streaming on that night my polar express schedule tells you that i, I don't know if i'm streaming on that night possibly we will know when we get closer striker an engineer for nine months just for the love of god don't get a costco pizza that shit will take out the rest of they'll take out the rest out of the rest Costco room. pizza is good it's so costco good pizza but fire Costco's pizza is great. It is flaming butthole for me. Uh, I have yeah. experienced this. That the the mozzarella so good, uh, also bad. And Burn Bacon Gaming gets Atlantic uses it for local industry shunting. Yeah, I know I'm doing the wrong thing here. And Rex Anger, what's a station stop? Oh, good. You're the engineer on these trains. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will is say. I've eaten nothing but Costco pizza for like dinner for months. It's great and I love it. You are in high school, aren't you? Bread. <laughs> <laughs> Would it be sacrilege to say I never had a Costco pizza? Yes. Y yes. Yeah. Yes. You need to go down to your Costco right now and get pizza. What, what are, are here's these what, cars you're rolling amazing. or are they you're not rolling? The full, here's what you do. You run the full gambit. You get the Costco yes. pizza, you get a chicken bake, you get the $1.50 hot dog and soft drink. Oh, and a churro. Dollar fifty hot dog. And a churro. 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 Those are Schrodinger's uh, coal cars. They're rolling and not rolling at the same time. Uh, they are. Mark so Dusty says the meme is copacetic. The meme is copacetic. All right. Beautiful. Uh, we will get these cars out of the way, and then we can show it off. So, Katana, you're asking because it's your birthday. Well, happy early birthday. I do not know if I will stream on that night. Uh, if I do, 
I also don't know if I'll remember that it's your birthday because my brain is a sieve sometimes. Uh, it's just life. Welcome to having ADHD screams. It's fine. You poor get, sap having having your birthday near out Christmas. Get of the way, coal hoppers. Bye. Go away. I will taunt you a second time. Okay. The thing that people don't understand is Heist will eventually get a Berkshire and will then also shunt local, <laughs> local stuff with it. Uh, this is the locomotive that I had right now, okay? I'm not going to re reorient the whole railroad to use the proper switching engine to switch with. I, I sentence what? you to being the Durango switcher. <laughs> what even is, like, the purpose of the bird? Big. To pull everything. Giant chooch. <laughs> I get up red marble. A, I mean, I understand red marble is a thing, but like, it's there are eight pieces of railroad you have to unlock before you even get there. Yeah, but you also have to, you know, like it's a lot of money to get the bird. And I think it's like just that. supposed to be an end game engine. Yeah, like, this is but, the engine but, you get at the end to also, pull everything. But, but also, there's like number two frogs. So like, how is it supposed to get through that? Uh, Straker, no, no, don't get me wrong. That pizza's great, but the next day is pain. Yep, yep. That's uh, that's where, that's the page I was on too. Uh, see, the thing let's about see. Lactose and oh, triple Z forty three sub highs. How's the GTO doing? It is wrapped up for the winter, my friend. Sorry, there's there are like twenty of you in here, and and the sidebars <laughs> uh, are a little much. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I, the thing about lactose intolerant people is that th it's not like gluten allergy, right? It's not like an allergy. They just simply suffer. I put you just myself simply suffer. for loving you. Basically. <laughs> yeah, it's not worth it to try to avoid it. It, it I, has. I already forgot that I was supposed to check on the passenger train. Let's not brown our Atlantic, shall we? Oh, we're gonna brown it anyways. Oh, we're gonna brown oh, that. Oh, we're gonna brown that oh, hopper. Shit. A good okay. hit. Oh, hey. Those don't. might make it to the interchange on their own. <laughs> they they are coaster. <laughs> oh. oh, my player character is still here. That's fine. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Ringe. Ugh. It's fine. The, the the damaged cars only matter for cargo, so far as I can tell. It probably matters for things that are not cargo, but uh, if the cars are damaged, yes. they pay less money. Uh, but I don't know if there's any mechanic for, oh yeah, I returned a wrecked car to interchange. Which also, like, for some things, sure, but if it's like, oh, that's not on the track. No, it, 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 no, it, that, that's what they do. They just continue pooping what? themselves for the, for the first Why? hundred feet or so. I don't know, because programming's probably hard. If it's I gotta shake guess. all the gravel out of the truck frame. Tom yeah, but, but, but two, also, like... two cars, one car, ten feet, highball! Yeah, I mean... Quarter mile. Quarter yeah, mile. also like, oh no, we bumped the coal, now the coal went bad. We churned the coal into butter. It's so a, it's a very, it. it's a very gamified mechanic. You, uh, you know what else is gamified? Over, oh, I, I went on I went on Kerbo's stream and Kerbo was like, you actually have to do stuff with the Johnson bar. They added it. And uh, I sat there and was like, Grr, because here I am, throttle wide open, bar in the corner, and I'm doing 15 miles an hour. And guess what? If I hook it up a little bit, oh my god, we take off like a bat out of hell. That's how that works, right? Right? Right, everyone? Totally. Right? Right? Oh, right. right? Yes. Yeah. That's Welcome. Boys. Here we out of hell. Again. Boys. <laughs> Again. That's not the point of this game. That's not the point of this game. Cockatoo sounds go away. It's fine. Yes, it's the do, 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 is this where I tell you that uh, they really don't like you in that server? <laughs> not surprised. <laughs> Which server? Uh, Most of them probably. Probably not good to yeah, say on stream. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Yeah. We'll leave that there That's for now. Fair. Put a put a pin in that comment. Put a pin actually. in that comment, and yeah. then we'll, we will we will chat comment. in a in a smidge. Yeah. Mm. Aaron Dival, oh. just say it's a Western Maryland on strike simulator. Scabs don't know where the stations are. Company puts signs for brake applications. Strikers move signs around and cause chaos. Uh, that uh, sure that sounds about Is that right. Is that thing that happened? And the N1 Berkshire heist eats cars in the dirt. Yes. Let's go make our passenger train do something. And our other engine's ready. Oh, God, everything's waiting on me to stop derailing shit. Cool. God, that's, that's almost crazier than when John Deere went on strike, and you could tell the day the scabs showed up because there was, like, a noticeable uptick in ambulances called that day. <laughs> that's... <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh... 
<laughs> nice. Uh, is Let's this see. where they require a college degree? <laughs> Something like that. Only slightly. Matt Houston, Atlantics are pretty. Also, you found your grandpa's Spectrum K4. It's our number 1361. Bought some coaches for today. K4s are awesome. That's awesome. That is, a, it is an adorable Atlantic. I and, love it. And Rex Sanger. Tonight, Heist plays train billiards, a coal hopper gets snookered, and the eight ball company ends up out of pocket. Yes. Very good. Uh, <laughs> uh, Best comment of the night right there. Very good. Uh, well done. All right. Billiards with the fucking cards. Oh. <laughs> yes. All of the trains will become brown. It's the ESNDT. This poor thing just got out of the shop, too, and it's immediately the one that we've browned. The, 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 the ten-wheeler ten is the, the, the train that becomes brown. They were brown. You've heard of James oh, Brown? This is train. This is trains train brown. brown. Nice. You guys made me ink. <laughs> will, you, will you stop <laughs> abusing the shit out of this engine? Uh, no Last promises. Night was bad enough. It's the ESNDT. Okay. The thing is, it's like, what happens. I. But, like, also, there are times when you just take a corner a little bit faster and it won't derail. But it, but it will it turn will brown. shit itself, yeah. Oh, uh, thank I'm you. Just... Um, uh, Jordan Freeman reminding me about the Dusty meme. Yes. we The, the uh, Dusty meme. Uh, uh, I'm just <laughs> I'm just thinking back to every office hours where D someone would Dusty ask you. complaining about the Krispy Kremes not <laughs> being big enough. Holding two boxes of donuts. <laughs> uh, so good. Right. The from the 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 goose. <laughs> you look I'm, just, I'm just thinking back to all the office right? hours I think where so. people would ask you people would ask you like hey would you run your own railroad this is why this is why <laughs> well no mark IRL is very responsible mark in digital space is where we choose can, like, violence I was gonna say yeah. the yeah, reason yeah, yeah. digital space is fun is cause you can do the shit ass literally yeah, you can do the shit you're not supposed to at work and have zero consequence Exactly. That's the fun of it. Uh, Two Penny Studios also asking about the green light for the Duncan meme. Yes, we just showed it. Sorry. So Katana, when doing age math, you had to add 11 days. So next year, two you have ADD was born. 11 days before the change of generation, four families tries to keep it fair. Oh wow. Yeah, that's uh, that is a challenge, friend. Let's realign that switch. Uh, let's see. Wesky, the caboose is for when you brown yourself. Oh yes. And Nick Wathan with a brown engine might be confused for the crap railroad. Yeah, but this is the ES and DT. We're we're living our worst life out here. Okay. Uh, I'm still amazed you didn't go with with the SDNS. You'll have a debt to pay. <laughs> the SDNS would have been in re receivership by the time this thing came around. That's why we're the ES D and T E D T. I mean, yeah. with, with with how the economy yeah. scaled, you're trying. Well, it's fine. We'll buy the Southern Pacific someday. I promise. Right? That's how that works? Yep, and then it'll be the suffering. Keep where, that. Yeah, where, where, where's the, the Wario meme? This is, I've won, but at what cost? I've won. Burned bacon gaming. I guess you can't fault the heist too much. If the DNRG got narrow H got the pick articulated, they wanted it would have ended up as the Durango switcher eventually, anyways. It's not a 280. That's the thing. The meme about the Durango switcher is that it's always a 280. I mean, it would have been mechanical. It probably would have been used as fucking mainline power for a good long while until they're like, uh, we can't take care of this fucking thing. Pretty much. And then they cut it up. No, too. And then it becomes two Durango switchers. Okay. It becomes two Durango Oh my god, my like we, both of, we we buy we bisect it. Will be tank engines. I didn't know that the L seventy five reproduced by budding. <laughs> Look, another one okay. is here. If we're talking if we're talking the L seventy five, then yeah. But there's the other one that was gonna be made at a two uh C twenty eights. They're gonna take two boilers off of them. Oh, that, that's the dumber that was the dumber option. Yeah, that was the DNRG one. Um it would have been hilarious if they made that and then cut in half again to make two 280s. Yeah, and then, meanwhile, Alco going to the RGS like, hey, do you want a 2882? It's like, we can't even afford soup cans to use as journal bushings. Do you know who the <laughs> fuck were you the fuck you're talking to? I love that that's a thing. They're down with RGS the soup kitchen. I love this idea. They, they RGS can't RGS even maintain our 10-wheeler that definitely doesn't exist. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> 
or, or the, the time the Baldwin tried to pawn a triplex off to the DNRGW and they told them, fuck no. They what? <laughs> <laughs> Baldwin tried to pawn a triplex. They sent the DNRGW a proposed triplex design, and that's what the stupid Lionel one comes from. And they told them to oh fuck God. off. Because I, I think word had made it to the West that the triplexes were failures. So they're like, we're not going to try this. Are you stupid? But the ES and D did try it. It went. Oh, yeah, late. the ES and D had a triplex, 100%. Yeah. That's right? like something stupid that yep. we would have tried, yeah. Okay, that's Get canon now. Alright. Oh look, no, a brown tank car. Lore. Nothing happened to that last night. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, that one's not full of explosives, so it's fine. You can bang it a bit. Boink! Boink. Alright, this was fun. I've got to step off. Later, Ellis. Good night. Good night. Bye, yeah. Ellis. Uh, uh, whose break is on? This one's break. No? The, oh, the first one's break. That break. Cusco's break. Break for Cusco. Breaks is specifically designed to destroy Cusco. <laughs> Sorry, I, they're mid unloading this. Oh, what the? Where did those? <laughs> you had a handbrake tied! Obviously not enough. What Ooh. was that, 40%? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep shoving that. I got moves. I mean, to it, make. I mean it never leaves the spline by the looks of it, so you can just shove it as far as you want. To quote a very wise old man: "If it's stupid, but it works, then it isn't stupid." It's not. The, it's, a, it's, a it's a chalk now. It's a chalk now. Oh my word! In, is in railroader. You just have to use another car as the pole. Oh my god. <laughs> We've upgraded to a large metal pole. Welcome yeah, to the S and D Alright, the train Magic arrived at Wilmot, so that's good. Car. We have polling at home. I don't want to quote Radiohead at Heist, but I've become quote Radiohead at Heist. You do it to yourself, you do, and that's why it really hurts. Beautiful. Uh, what's the chances of those? What's the chances that those hoppers are coming back? Hundred <laughs> uh, percent. Uh, now that you've got one now. on the ground in between them, I think we're good. I you set a handbrake on one you of them. You say that? I don't think it's on the ground between them. I just do the Homer Simpson Fidel Castro bit. It's like, what hoppers? You didn't give me hoppers. If we're already pulling and spotting this track. I guess I should probably grab this tank car too. We already got to run back to the interchange one more time. It, 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 they come to the railroad and they're like, where's our hoppers? Nowhere. While well, they stand in front of a suspiciously hopper-shaped tarp. It's fine. <laughs> you just use it as ballast, it's dude. Fine. Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. It, it, it's just, just a We're going to rebuild the bridge on the, the next part of the line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just oh, use it go. as fill. <laughs> No, 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 no. You weld it. You weld it to a siding to stop the wind from blowing over your trains. Duh. That's what you do with them. Right. Break. Yes, Josh. Where'd our turntable go? Well, I put it right there. Where? Right? Yeah, I outlined it in the grass. Drake, where's the door hole? <laughs> where's the door hole? Door, door hole. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I swear, I, I, sw I swear to drunk officer, I'm not God. <laughs> I'm not mumbling, I'm speaking a curse step. Mm. I, I don't <laughs> think you speak in cursive. All right, we'll get this car spotted and then we need to go figure out what the passenger train's doing. What the passenger train doing? What, what, what is the dog doing? doing? What? what the train doing? What? <laughs> Drake, where's 491? Well, I left it right here in the roundhouse. Oh, out of curiosity, if you uncouple cars but then shove back directly, does it do the model railroad thing of like the offset KD coupler when you oh, the like, delayed coupling? Yeah. The delayed uncoupling. I need to know because <laughs> everything know. about this so far has been just model railroad. So. I don't know. All right.
that train's ready to go. We gotta figure out. I gotta figure out where the other, where the other the the train that picked up the two cars to set out is. It looked like it's over by Silva Depot. I think it's. Track. I think it's made it to Silva. I think you're right. Oh my it God! Is. It's I a tunnel. It's been fun. Later, Wait, Brett. Bye. See you, Brett. Yeah. Night. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Right. Still one more stop at Dillsboro. Tunk. Just like that. Okay. It's no big deal. Corey Gibson. Hello. Hello again, friend. Okay. And hello. then there's that guy. So we can now line this train in. Um, and you're going to be a good kid and stop before you come impale me, right? should let's uh let's no. test let's test the ai again last time i tried this last night the ai said hey i'm staring at another train here right now uh so i've gone blind <laughs> pretty much let's see what are see. station stops what are station stops i don't know what those are stop i don't know what that word means we'll find out they're accelerating over there keep going keep going <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You're good. You're good. You're good. Crash. I don't know where those cars need to end up at. I'll have to figure that out. Gonna get this stopped. Is that guy stopping? The brown train is stopping. Seems well, like it at least. They're, they're both brown now. Yes. Oh, all the trains brown. all the trains become brown that's the secret brown trains are brown always have been always have been that's their secret <laughs> always have been i don't know what, it, what it, when it's trying to stop that's sneaking up on it at least maybe it'll hook in i don't know oh there it is I think he only does that looking at another train all right everything's fine kick that back on the track there's that and it immediately starts rolling Stop doing that. We don't like that. Okay, remember that conversation we had about cheese earlier and I said there was a, t a potential chance that there need to be a, a departure <laughs> for a little bit? Entertain right. the audience, folks. I'll be... All right, we have a porcelain level for it. <laughs> oh, so much responsibility. So much responsibility. Oh, so little time to ruin it. have to entertain the audience. <laughs> Can't talk about Grand for 15 minutes again. So about mm -hmm. Camelbacks... Oh boy. Camelbacks are funky. They suck. Don't buy them. Oh, the ICC made them illegal. I've, I've still why. yet to see the actual documentation for that. Yeah. There doesn't have they to be suck, documentation but they're the not ICC. illegal. They're, they're neat little things. But they do kind of suck. Just burn better coal. It's a skill issue, basically. <laughs> or, or, oil. Or, oil. Yeah, I have an idea. I've had an idea for a candle that's just the smell of a Taurus railroad that burns coal. I want that. I want a I... candle in my house that just smell that just coal smoke. It it would be perfect, you know. I'm just see, imagining I mean, like, a you're saying off. get better coal, like but I would like to see you try to burn the stuff from Utah that we have at the museum. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to. I mean, it could be. I worse. think that stuff came out of the ground in like 2015, 2016. Oh. <laughs> the engines hated it. So we were only using it in the stoves. And now not even the stoves will burn it. Oh, no. Ouch. So we're allowed to use gasoline with it, right? <laughs> um, sure, why not? Things went poorly last time we used any sort of liquid in the stoves. Uh, ask my left hand. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. I mean, it, I it, it, I don't it, it, know it, how much was put in there, and I don't know who put it in there, but uh, my hand was a little toasty for a couple weeks. Things became fuego. So what I'm hearing is the stove did its job a tiny, tiny smidge bit too well. The stove did its job a little too well. It did its job, but on the wrong thing. Yes. 
Uh, no, as far as the coal goes, it could always be worse. It, you could be in Europe where any preserved steam locomotive right now is having to run off of artificial coal because where did all the coal in Europe come from? Russia. Uh oh. Small uh oh. Uh oh. And they mined out all their coal on their entire land already, I bet. Oh no, there's more, there's enough uh, coal left in Wales to fuel all steam in Europe for the next you know thousand years. The problem is it's illegal. Well, then dig it up. It's Easy. illegal to mine coal in Europe. Wait, what? It, it's it, yeah, like it, it's 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 harmful to the environment, so you're not allowed to mine coal. Oh, it's harmful to the environment. Mm, okay. I mean, it is. It, it is, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's consider a moment the rare mineral mines in like Britain Central just South put America. Your used. pants on and burn oil. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but we're not like those silly Americans that burn oil. We hey, like hey, have you been garbage. to the moon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, have yeah, you been to the exactly. moon? There is, so it, my Fermo professor was like, yeah, you know, we've got these metric units, which makes sense. And then we have the English units, which don't make any sense whatsoever. And I just lean over to my buddy. I'm like, okay, well, but the English also, units Also, oil, oil is, oil, like material wise is literally just coal that shit learned how to break down better yeah it's, like they're not making coal anymore it just turns to oil now yeah also i'll i'll bring up the point that i don't know anybody that does measurements in tents that made it to the moon exactly it, it may be a stupid system of measurements but it works <laughs> never mind the fact that nasa did use Metric. No, no, don't worry about it. They, they nope. did. And do you know what they did with it? They buried the Mars lander in the surface of the planet. <laughs> yes. No, that's because, like, they forgot to convert units. Well, what happened was is they did all the programming in, uh, in, uh, in Imperial. And yes. they did the commands in metric, which is why yes. that doesn't work. I know, but NASA but did do... not make the rover or the lander. Yeah. Lockheed did. I, I will say this. The UK, the, the British literally invented Imperial, gave it to us, then changed their shit back, and then they laugh at us for it. Yes. Like, Yes. All right, man. Wait, wait, they, they've pretty much done that with everything in this country. Let's be really honest. <laughs> that is kind of how this works. Like but, they you know, even gave us a language and we still who gave we, us we, guns. We just... Who has close to a dozen supercarriers and who doesn't? Who doesn't? The people that measure in twelfths, not the people that measure in tenths. You know, just, just having floating air bases is, is kind of a neat little party trick but china has more boats than the, than the americans no they don't no they don't <laughs> like a ton of it, it, you all they, they only have if you count every fucking raft and dinghy uh, as a boat i mean i will also make the argument of is it doesn't matter how many they have we have the better technology <laughs> yeah we have the ocean. better tonnage of our fleet all like, right that's pound for pound I'm sorry. Let, okay, time, yeah. time to start the World War Two. Uh, <laughs> time to start the World War Two production line again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Break one out a day. <laughs> We're doing a sequel. We're gonna call it three. <laughs> We're. <laughs> We're. <laughs> We're just building like M4 Shermans, but it's take every single technology from the Abrams and put it into the Sherman hull. <laughs> I mean, As God intended. Uh, yes. I forget what it was, but somebody worked it out, and it's it, it's again like the like perfect world scenario, and it's something that people don't think about much. But we only have a you know a, a few thousand M1 Abrams to begin with. Uh oh, so they started if, tank posting. Yeah. Yes. No. What, yeah. No. Well, it it started with metric, and then we got onto this somehow. <laughs> no, it started with coal, then it went to metric, and now it's on. That's tank. right. Yeah, we were talking about yeah, how... We were making fun of the British, is what we're trying to say. We were making fun of the British because they outlawed mining coal, and now they don't have coal to run their heritage railways on. 
just an unfortunate to oil. Convert to oil. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Just, just dumpterize everything and go wood. No. That's how you That's burn down the countryside. They don't have enough oil. I, I think, like, rooting for coal is dumber either. than rooting for a sport team. Yeah. Yeah, I can agree yeah, with that. Yeah, just burn whatever. Yeah. Just burn well, whatever. Still a steam, steam locomotive. Steam. Yeah. You could probably get away with doing uh, wood fired in the tally clan, though. You probably could. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they would get the heat that they need, but yeah. Hard Brazil to say. is taking everything over to wood, and they're doing great. They're running like a dozen engines down there. You Only say that, but you course, look but at the YouTube it. videos, and the cockatoo sounds start flying because they're running locomotives with no sight glasses. That was the one broad gauge <laughs> engine that they run like 20 feet back and forth. It is I'm still sorry, a thing. Just saying. So, not the best I mean, example. But. SCL shops running a, a switcher without a tender. Uh, it's, whatever. It's fine. I, I, again, um, <laughs> Nationality de Mexico, Uno Zero, my poor 4 for O. Oh. Poor Choo Choo's. All right, let me catch uh, these top uh, chats that I missed while I was dealing with mozzarella. Bring 279 back. Thomas Perry, would a Genesis be a good companion to an RS-11? I don't know. No idea. That's not my specialty. Barrage oh. Balloon, tell Mark to Google the Johnston Logging Locomotive. I keep forgetting. Do I? Johnston Logging Locomotive. Let's you said Genesis, and my mind went like, a Sega? The fuck? I wouldn't what in the end, but okay. What in the fuck shit is this? I mean, I assume he's talking about P-42, so no, not a good match. Yeah. What? I, I second. Oh, the 16-wheeler? <laughs> what? Uh, my, my verdict well, on the Johnston. Let me, uh, I need to wait till it's on stream. Hold on. It's dumb and bad. Dumb and bad. Dumb and bad. Dumb and bad. Yep. Dumb and bad. <laughs> what the? Dumb and bad. Hi, I'd like to, hey, hey, child, would you like to draw a locomotive, please? <sighs> yep. A child <laughs> drew that locomotive and they made it real. That's and Corey Gibson's fact. fractions are better for having dimensions. Uh, yeah, yes, they are. Oh God, they keep they keep coming. They just keep coming. Corey Gibson, do not screw with the American wartime industry. That's fair. No. <laughs> CSX Rail fan, welcome to the Conductors. Nick An Porter, hi. Can't wait day. to see you and Con play this game. Hopefully later this week. Rex Anger, Rex has been a senior woodchuck on a steam locomotive before. He did not like it. I can't blame you. Firing wood when you're actually running tonnage is a nightmare. Model More Railway Backshop. Actually, yeah. the reason why the Imperial units are called Imperial and not English is because they were developed from the Romans in ancient Rome. Really? That 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 feels that feels, feels fake wrong. history that to feels me. Feels wrong. It, it, it feels no. fake. It no. feels fake. Except that feels like Roman Larper trying to make the Roman Empire seem cool. I don't know. I'm yes, not a historian. But at the same time. How much do you think about the Roman Empire? And John Bowman. Hi, Mark. Hi, John. Anyway, let's keep doing our switching here. Um, yep. We are selected on the number one. Okay, we got a, we've got a whole pile of crap that needs to go to the interchange, which we'll just grab and then send, I think, with the Atlantic, and then we'll use the two six or the four six zero the two six zero is on the passenger train Ooh. it's a um, one level nine old train town where the cars are just everywhere forget which, which, which thing it there's is there's several like that all of them that that, that is kind <laughs> of yeah what, 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 which level specifically we i'm sorry twitchy, we need twitchy for the line train town sound effects again we need him back here tristan's uh helping family i think uh doing something uh, i think i need a line that switch at barkers oh look i'm in a river Look, I don't know who Model Railway Backshop is, but I want them to tell me why they sided with the um, the Roman LARPers in Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> oh. oh, you might as well check on your passenger train. I did yeah, already. That's bad. Oh. That's, that's, don't do that. How much do you think about the Roman Empire? Uh, like every day. I was not one of the men in that meme. I did not think about the Roman Empire hardly ever, and I still don't. But I, I think about it like once a month. I can for like I can understand I can understand the random thoughts of uh, of these things. Like that, that's my brain. My brain just doesn't go to Rome. I think of Roman Republic and Corvus. I, I dedicate more of my brain to shit I see on the Funkland than the Roman Empire. 
<laughs> yeah, yes, so man. true. I love. How does Fast Pass work? I watched that whole fucking documentary. Yes. Got to like an hour that's long. An emotional roller coaster. He got to the point where he's like, "If this would be impossible to do, you'd have to hire an industrial engineer to do this." And then he's like, "Part six, I did that." And it was just like, "What?" I, yeah, I got that is <laughs> so good. I fucking love that. Yeah, I, mean, I love that moment. It's so good. That is the like no worse, way. That and then, like... and then the, the the screen fills with words as it says exactly what he just said, and he did that. It, it's a <laughs> great moment. Yeah, and that where it's like, oh, this is just a simulation, right? It can't be real. No, it's fucking Magic Kingdom. This is that yep. bad. Uh, it's okay. D is for Disney. What's funny is, is the, the one time I went to Disneyland for a school field trip, I made a hella use of the Fast Pass uh, back then, but that was like, shit, probably 2010. Back when things and were still okay. When, yeah, it's when Fast last, Pass actually yeah. worked. The last time I went to Disneyland was when I was like three, and the only thing I remember is foaming over the trains. And I have a picture of me pulling a straight hog face as the train runs the corner. I, uh, I was a little fo I was a foamer from age one. All right. Who wasn't? Let's oh, yeah, see. True. Dave Eight. Hammer, two months already. Nice. Just finished weekend two of Happy Holiday Railway, your version of Polar Express at IRM. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you, too. Excellent. Good to see you here, Dave. And the server is they added trains to Fortnite when Fortnite stream dies. Uh, uh, never. No. Really? Uh, no. the, the museum has a Fortnite account. Uh, hi Matt, true. wherever you are, oh, and he mentioned that this may happen, and said, "Hey, maybe that would be the time that we could do that." And it's like, if there was ever going to be a time that was going to get me to play Fortnite, that'd be it. So. Oh, but they brought the old map back, so it's better. And it's so bad. William Grantham, good day, good day. Just got back from weekend of the one to one Garden Railway and loved every second of it. However, it means the Steam Stevenson is over and out. Time for summer maintenance. Always bittersweet, isn't it? <laughs> Glad you guys made it through. Glad you had fun. All right, like, Dunk. Good, good and then, the okay, those need to go up there. So we gotta run this thing pretty far back. Um, and Get then the LPB, a brakeman for 12 months. Hey, oh, hey, a gold lamp, yes. Joining the gold lamp crowd. Welcome to the, welcome to the crew. Welcome to the crew, lad. 100 years. Oh God, you ESND union staff. president. Who let the scarecrow talk? <laughs> Mark, if there are any mishaps, remember to get with your local representative before the investigators talk to you. You're a scarecrow with a, with a bucket on your bucket. head. We decreed that earlier. <laughs> who put the fucking Frosty the Snowman hat on him? Who did? Who was it? Who was it? I made sure to write it down. <laughs> I will say the uh, defunct land industrial engineering bit was so useful last year because just randomly like the one dude that I ended up partnering up for statics with was an industrial engineer and throughout the entire semester was just like why are you in this class oh I find it interesting and then every one of our friends in that class were just like what's your major exactly I just pull up that clip <laughs> there you go. That's what I do. Beautiful. That's what he does. It's just, he, he, he does a simulation of a theme park. That's all he ever needs to do. Dad, get your fucking head out of there. Is your cat being dumb again? Cat is trying to drink my sweet tea. I love cats. I want a cat. <laughs> I, I used to have a cat. Exactly what you know what I'd rather have? I'd rather have a cat. No, you'd rather have two cats. Two cats. Cats to win. That's I will. Day. I will lock them out of my train room. Uh, then they will get in, and they will like, <laughs> find a way to get in. And it's yeah. fucking Catzilla from Lego Ninjago. Yeah. Have you not seen that cat cafe in Japan where it's just a model train? Like, it's a huge end scale layout, and then they just let these rescue cats out and about. And it's like. What? Oh, is this the one where, where the cats are always knocking them over? Yes. I mean, what else are you supposed to do as a cat? You knock over trains. That's It's your job. You're uh, put on this planet for one thing and one thing only, to screw over model railroaders. Man, whoever I interchange with must love me, because I'm leaving these cars, like, no handbrakes, 
No nothing. No <laughs> no air hooked up between cars. Just just walk fine. your train every time you fine. interchange with the S and DT. It's fine. This Everything fucking fine. guy again. All right, that'll just. You're like, also they, leaving they, they, them like with several dents all over the car. That's fine. Yeah. I did. Uh, I did get money for bringing the cars back to interchange, and it did subtract a lot of money for the fact that they got dunked. Yeah. Oh, really? Now. Yeah. Yep. Minus forty-five dollars yep. worth of damage. Oh. So yeah, oh. that would be for that hopper we derailed. Oh, so. well, there goes an hour's worth of work. Oh, that was just for the one car. It's fine. Do we count this as a derail or me suffering from my own hubris? Uh, yes, I think. <laughs> all the above. All the above. You the you say that you, you say that you that you leave all the cars uh, all the cars disconnected and whatnot, and, just, and then just one day you connect them all just to be chaotic, just be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like like oh fuck, I gotta go on the train to get. They're connected this time. <laughs> So used to having to walk down, you know, mile fucking mile railroad mile. shut down. They see the Atlantic switching in the distance. What the fuck? Push <laughs> car. Oh, the brake pipes in zero. That would be why. Atlantic <laughs> in switching the distance. What the fuck is that guy doing? Bjorn, you thought you were at 12 months. Not quite. Almost there, friend. One more to go. No. Thank you and good morning. No, fuck, set that thing up like that, you stupid asshole. Guy operating a locomotive with a pocket tool on his shoulder. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, I think it's that track. <laughs> oh, she, she, you never gave the me the Discord role. You're not a scarecrow yet. You're just you're the union president. I see how it is. You're the union. Oh, we said it was the local chairman. So if you're the president of the union, okay. Union? What union? I don't have a union. The Union of Soviet Socialist Parents. Good hitch. Running two trains like this is probably well, I, just I, fine, isn't it? If it's a good so hitch, by... it's not stretch them, it's compress them because you're running you're running towards the end. <laughs> we didn't need those cab awnings. It's fine. No, no. Fine, we'll just do a little pulling. It's tender steps? Who needs those? I'll just I'll just slam my face flat on the ground when I try to walk off the tender. Yes. Who needs them? It, it makes you touch grass quicker, so. It know. sparks joy that people are just quoting Apollo in chat now. Glask. <laughs> Glask. Glask. Shrock. Metal. Glass. One of these days, someone's gonna do the bad noise on voice call, and it's just gonna blow out all of our speakers. <laughs> I have headphones on. Please don't do that. Oh no. We're goose. Uh, I... Oh jeez. Oh, we had air hooked I... into that. That's a surprise. There's always a surprise on the USB. Yeah. Close the angle cock. Interact. No. Not until you find the Interact. Insert button. Why is that not a click toggle? Because Adam hates us. Yes. Like he's an installed. There we go. Adam got Adam it. abandoned yeah. us in a hot car. <laughs> I don't so. think so. Actually. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, not ideal. All right, that train's there. I guess we'll just we'll just pile all of our brown locomotives together and go put them away. I can go through that switch at 30, right? Right? This has happened multiple times. Someone stole the meme that I made and put it in memes. That I already put in memes. How dare the you? audacity to steal something that I made in this server. Uh, for shame. For shame. Really? That doesn't clear? No. Nobody like that. Nope. See, by leaving yeah. this engine with the Johnson bar in the corner, uh, I've limited it to 12 miles an hour, apparently. 
Oh, that's had a handbrake on the whole time. It's fine. But we go to 40%. Well, we found the new meta. It's not 100-100 anymore. It's 140. It is 140. Yep. Yes. That is the truth. All right. We patched it out. Gamer boy, good to see you, man. Uh, just saw Train Sim World Four has free roam. Are you gonna do any videos on it or no? I don't know if I'm gonna play it. I don't. Train Sim World is kind of like eh. It's kind of eh, you know. So I don't know. I don't find Train Sim World Four particularly exciting. It's new, but so is Train Sim World. New in quotation marks. Apparently. And Train Sim World Two and Train Sim World One and uh, yeah. It's it's the fucking new Super Train Mario Sim. Bros. Fair. Fucking new Super Mario Bros. Yeah, it's, very well. it's, it's, new, it's new Super Train Sim World Luigi uh, <laughs> Deluxe. Deluxe. It, it's Deluxe, worse yeah. than that. With it's new funky that. mode? It's, it, it's the new NBA 2K. Very um, well, 75 YouTube kept flashing this at me. Well, so I guess at, least like, at least like FIFA oh, and you. Madden games come out every year. They're going to be coming up on eight months per for Train Sim World now. Yeah. Oh, here's your chance to put the Atlantic on the passenger train. I, yeah, I was going to say, all three of my engines are about to be in the same place here. Finally, you can use an Atlantic for what an Atlantic should be used for. Absolutely Heavy freight. Heavy freight. <laughs> That's the correct way to use the Atlantic. Yes. Uh, an engine is an engine. KC, I accidentally browned my 10-wheeler again. Oh, it's okay. I uh, I have four engines that are browned in my roundhouse. You number two, you're number two. I did. <laughs> I, I have 40 people working in the Bryson roundhouse. So that way everything that's broken over here can get fixed. Well, I, don't, I don't know if Mark has unlocked the Bryson roundhouse. He has not. Like, nope, it I have not. It three locomotives to try to run like but, excuse me, 15 miles of railroad. And it's like, how much said, money are you making? Like 20 said, bucks a trip or something? Wait times mean nothing to me. One dollar. Uh oh. Mark. You browned it. Mark. <laughs> the independent so brakes. The independent brakes in this game don't tend to do things. Oh yeah, blame the independent. Mm -hmm. No, it's actually it is, no, 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 no. Yeah. the independent. There it, is. it is funny that it's like double the PSI it should be for a steam locomotive. And, it's, still and it nothing. doesn't do anything. Yeah. I think it gets worse as you brown the engine. So that's your, your oh. penalty is that the brakes just don't oh. work or something. Oh, you don't know about this yet. Yeah, no, as as your health bar goes down, your brakes work less. Ooh. Oh, that's that, not how that uh... fucking works. Oops. <laughs> you just so happen to hit the brake pipe every single time. Guess so. Yes. Jack 45 oh. plays Pita Cup. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. That's, uh, of the of the ways to punish players for their uh, foul deeds, guilty of doing foul deeds, as I say this. Uh, not sure that's the proper way to do that. But yeah, that's like okay. add. I mean, you could add slop to the timing, or like you know, the piston rings get messed up, or it's out of circle. But like that also requires steam sim. Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do the cars automatically it's like they, number themselves? It's like they only have so many things they can break for a maintenance effect. I mean, they can make that. the engine less powerful without yeah, having to put that's steam that's in it. Well, they only do that. that. Yeah. You literally just lower the tractive effort. Uh, oh, oh. Which, like, uh, wearing the flanges out around a corner, to me, doesn't read well for, okay, now the engine feels less, like... Like when that happened the first time, it's like why? How, like you, you could potentially make maintenance do different things to the engine based on how you wreck it, but that that's not in place there. So, do I want to leave one of these engines here? The brown boy. I mean, the brown boy. We could put the Atlantic on the passenger train. And then the brown boy should probably go to the shop. So we'll take the we'll take these cars with the brown boy, which means we need to get the Atlantic on the other track. So we're gonna flying switch a locomotive. That feels unnecessary, but it sounds like what we're gonna do. 
Oh, that's the most fun thing you can do. Let, let me it get is, uh, is, let me get these top chats here. Travis Mangle, love your content. Thank you, friend. Rex Anger is not not trying to polish that one out. Sure. Uh, Joe Pomeroy, how do you play this game? You wait until Friday, December 15th, and then it is uh, available on Steam. I've got an early access Yay. copy because, hi, I'm the Birdman on YouTube or something. ESD Union President, get with your local rep. I think my rep is John Deere Boy. <laughs> no, I just checked. I just checked. The rep is the Scarecrow. I was going to say, yeah. the rep is yeah. definitely the Scarecrow. The rep is definitely the Scarecrow. Where's the it, when, when you go into a business meeting, we just like wheel the Scarecrow in and just set it down at the desk. No, oh, what's our options, Chief? <laughs> so what's our options? There's not enough switches at this place, because then the 10-wheeler is going to be in the wrong place. So we're going to do a flying switch, the passenger train, to the depot, and knuckle it into the Atlantic. That's what's do cars, happening. Do cars you buy automatically number themselves? Or is that like a thing you have to put in? Uh, they seem to automatically do it, and then you can customize it okay. later. Sweet. Because I renumbered the, the 601 to the 1 for the Atlantic. Ah. Okay, so you can renumber them. Okay, good. I don't think the numbers are consecutive. I think it's randomly generated numbers. Yeah. Uh, for the passenger it's, cars, it's, it's, they've it's, been uh, in order for me so far. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you can sort of set your set. Uh, here's the roster of passenger cars. And then just... That's interesting. I'm I'm glad you can renumber engines because I, I've I've already put together. Uh, a roster. Foamer. Engines. Foamer. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so oh, I God. Wait, if we're going to do a flying switch of the passenger train, i got to get on it right now. I <laughs> just realized what they're doing Mark. with numbers is they're, they're basing it, like, somewhere in the series of what the prototype engine would have had. So, like, you are you have a cotton belt Atlantic. Okay, i gotta, I got to get out on the... Why don't, can't I get out the door in the cab at the train at the, the rebel, 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 rebel? Mark, I just want you to know what you've I'll done. Go, undo the, the, the roof. Undo the Texting coupler. Me asking who the too. scarecrow is. I don't think a single passenger here is going to live. Probably not. Oh. Oh, They're dumping right now. Oh. We have oh. transcended. <laughs> it's fine. See, look, it's fine. Emergency applications are good for passengers. Oh. Oh. Sir, you can't ride there. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> I guess you're you riding can't there. there. I need, I need a drink of water after that. Jesus Nailed Christ. It. Actually, this has to wait in the hole here. That was good. Uh, okay. Climbing aboard. All right, Atlantic's going on the passenger train, and everyone can can calm their titties. Not freaking out. <laughs> no, let's just calm it. down. We we almost killed Bang. you. Bang! I know you're you. I know you're disembarking presently, but let me loudly bang into you right now. It's fine. Hey. Okay, and now this guy, okay. Oh, that's the other control. Slider hell, welcome. Just remember the independent doesn't work. Oh, that's right, that's fine. Where we're going, it's fine. The engine's going to the shop anyway. Uh, oh, no. You, you, you take an engine to the to shop, and it's just like the NASCAR pit crew where they just slam on it with hammers a couple hundred times. The bikes, they do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> On that note, gentlemen, it's been fun. I've enjoyed it immensely. I unfortunately have to go drive a fire truck tomorrow. So no, toodles. Fun. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. yeah. All right, and now we just, uh, let's see, operate. We just tell you to go road, forward, full titties. Uh, yeah, that's, both, that's... both of those things are at Dillsboro, so we'll just tell you to stop over there when when, when you get there. It's probably these two. Locust, pi uh, uh, uh -huh. and then uh, that one, which is Dillsboro. Yeah, okay. Yep. Do so you we have can... cars to pull from there, or are you just doing spot? I'm just spotting. Uh, you know it is all downhill, right? Oh, that would be fun. We could just drop them. You, you, you can <laughs> pull the pin and let it go. Let you it don't go. have to do extra work? Let it go. Well, that engine's already got to go to the shop anyway. We'll run it that far. Just saying be careful, because it may have hit 50-something miles an hour the other day doing that with a Jeep 9. 
That's fine. What's this word careful you refer to? <laughs> you do realize it says eat shit and die trying on the side of my tender, right, Casey? Mark, I have like 30 locomotives on my save because we kill about seven a night. <laughs> what? <laughs> I need to play with you guys. I wish I could play with you guys. Jeez. <laughs> Just my oh, when are we doing VRA MOW crew mashup? Um, as soon as we have an equivalent version of the game that we can all play on. Bring him out of the round. Oh shit, we wrecked that one. Bring him out of the roundhouse. Just get another one. We have like 20 more of them. It's like a fucking dispensable engine. Like the fucking, uh, what, what is it? The. Okay, that should be probably... Fucking 280 they sent across overseas to die. Probably lined all the way to Interchangeville. The S160? Yeah, that one. It's like that one. There, there were like just... You just have a shit ton of dispensable engines. I can get this train ready to load for tomorrow. Do all the stuff that way. Copy to coupled. Um, and then we put our little... Well, I will set it up in the morning. Line that switch that way. Uh, let's see. ESD Union President. Also, how the hell are the moderators not called the ESD Police Department? Um, they don't have one. They, yeah, that doesn't sound very yeah. fitting in the in the case of the ESD. They're called the MOW crew for a reason. Like, yeah, because they're, they're, say, they're, they attempt to fix the track. It's nothing but vigilante justice. Everyone, every person. Don't, Employed by the railroads, armed. Basically. Steam Ton 122, Break Conductor Heist. Okay, everyone. Hakuna, your matatas. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> Burn Bacon gets Atlantic, finally lets it run passengers. My work here is done. Yeah, it's only because of you and your sass that the Atlantic is doing what it's supposed to. So, congrats. Northwesterner, I just want to congratulate you on your achievements tonight. Solely because of your machinations, you've bankrupted two insurance companies, and the ICC is going to make you have a little accident with a window. Okay, good. I'll look forward to that. The technical term you were looking for is defenestrate. <laughs> yes. We like that one. Okay, the what this, this prog? that one goes there, that one goes to the other one. Uh, okay. And then we just going to we're going to go play with some cocks. Dunk and dunk and just do that real quick and just bang that real quick. Don't reset. I pulled your pin. Run over the fusey. Fail our ops test. Kicking. You have to mute your stream on Discord because I was trying to figure out what engine was running away on my game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't close that cock. Sorry, we can bleed it while rolling, which is a neat feature. Ah, hell, I need to get up there anyway. I'm very glad you can renumber engines in this game. Because, uh... Yes, that's the worst part of the... Later. <laughs> hey, look, I spawned 142 Mikados to get engine 142, okay? Back before that was a feature. Oh my god. You gotta work hard for the memes, kids. Here, the fucking PRR building 300... 280s and then dying because of it. Good hit! Okay. Stretch them! Okay, bye! Okay, thanks, bye! I was about to say, is this like the Penzi system though, where it's just like lottery bingo of what's the first available <laughs> number? Oh, that did not get spotted. If it, there's a spectrum. Oh, of, it like, has to be numbering system. Oh, why? Why are those two different? Early access cockatoo sounds. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We will respot the cars for the invisible industries. Temper, temper. It'll make sense later. <laughs> you cannot stop in Iowa. Oh, I was wondering why I wasn't accelerating, and then I forgot that I left the Johnson bar in first gear.
It has become a car. Don't worry, I'm sure that the Johnson bar does something. It doesn't do the right thing, but it does do something. I mean, it moves. The slider functions. Uh, those slider uh, functions, the Johnson bar actually doesn't do anything, and the locomotive's perma-locked. Oh, sorry, that was the brake. It's perma-locked in full forward gear. You can see the reach rod and tumbling shaft move, but none of the actual gear is doing anything. So. The slider does move. Somebody was saying that it's impossible to do in Unity, but uh, the modders for Derail Valley figured that out. Anyways, these are comments that I need to file under the I can't complain about this because it's early access of early access and they're fixing the models, uh, allegedly. That's what we've been told, so. I have full confidence that, that that'll get taken care of. We just need to shout about it more. Just need to make cockatoo sounds. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what I did to get the fucking Montezuma name fixed. That was me. I, 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 I complained about it enough until they're like, all right, we're gonna make put it on the priority list so you shut the fuck up. I'm like, cool. Squeaky wheel gets the grace. Mainline, yep. thank you for your service. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am in the Argo Discord for the sole purpose of correcting any misinformation that frequently pops up. I'm not going to engage <laughs> in this topic of conversation <laughs> because, because it would be bad for my mental health. Yes. Cough, cough, certain foxes, cough, cough. And that's not going to engage is. in this conversation because it will be <laughs> bad for my mental like, health. This evening. Don't worry, I'll have, I'll have you know, I, I've killed every single fox I see in Minecraft. I, I have gone on a murder spree. That, uh, that is troubled behavior. Uh, uh, you should, uh, th think about saying that <laughs> should publicly. should think about therapy. Or therapy. Yeah. Uh, or both. Yeah, it's generally a good idea, therapy. Uh, yeah, I already got that covered. Or operate worry. a steam fine. locomotive. I don't need therapy. I can just run steam engines. Exactly. Uh, yeah, you need both. Where's that meme therapy. where it's, it's men will literally restore a vintage <laughs> coal fire steam locomotive and operate it unpaid? I mean, it, it, it brings the happy chemicals, alright? Yeah. If I'm happy, I'm not thinking about other things. Yeah, that's not a good, that's not a healthy recipe. Just saying. Just saying. No. Therapy, but it I is a recipe. Engine is sometimes needed. You sometimes and do need that. Very. I'm not going to discount that, but yes. Uh, the, the amount of times I've almost punched someone to stick it with the steam engine, and then I've had to, like... Brush talk about mortality with my therapist afterwards is hot. Are we talking about misinformation now, like rebuilt locos? Are you throwing? Are you throwing gauntlets down now, sir? Are you? Are, is that what you're doing? Is that is that shade I hear? I demand donuts for fuck's sakes. Why kill the fuchses? They make cute sounds. Apparently they make cute sounds. They do make cute sounds. Hey, Casey, how fast can I be running right now? Uh, yes. I don't know. Okay. What, what does the butt in your seat tell you? Uh, fast enough. Uh, this curve, probably not 55, but the straight up ahead of the curve, probably. I mean, you can go 35 over the high line. I've seen it. I, I mean, do you want do you want to know like program speed limit or like what's possible? I mean, you know me. 40, okay, I'm getting I'm getting squeals. Ish. I got squeals at 45. That's fine. Te technically, it's a 35. Uh, I I've pushed a little over 50. I'm gonna set this to road and just let the AI run it so I can look at chat. And the AI is like, ah! <laughs> Steam Ton 122. Engineer, I don't need therapy. Shoots at kids. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That was that was the best story I've ever heard you tell. Like, like the guy shooting at the kid to talk about being calm and collected. That's the that's that is a vibe. That was pretty good. Corey Gibson, since Discord roles were a topic, can we get a veteran role? 
Uh, I can talk with Mick about that. I think that would be fun to recognize folks if they if they so desire. Um, I don't know. I don't know much beyond that. Like, I think that's a neat idea. Um, but I don't know what goes into all those things because I am Discord illiterate. But I, I can chat with Mick about it, so. I, I I will say I can't wait for you to join to be able to see the Minecraft server because uh, we, we've got we've got some stuff. We've got some cool stuff to show you. Speaking oh, of the no. Minecraft server, hello. Hello, oh, Andy. Hello, Andy. Hello. When he fucks, should you be scared? No, you're fine. Oh, look, my... I, uh, I am Cole. That's my I'm character only killing, is I'm only Cole. killing digital foxes. I do not kill real foxes. Oh. For now. This, the, the moguls... For, the no, mogul... For now. The, mo, the mogul has no coal in it again. Uh -oh. that, that's an issue. There's no uh, coal on this end of the railroad. I guess we're double heading the pa passenger train in reverse tomorrow. Do we count this as a derail or me uh, suffering you not for my built own hubris? The coal tower in uh, Dillsboro yet? No. What is money? Uh, I mean, there's that, a that's... 950 ton coal tower you can build for Dillsboro. I have twenty three hundred dollars, and I have to pay seventeen hundred dollars tomorrow Jesus on my loan interest. <laughs> I've made twenty four hundred dollars. Uh, I made I made eighteen hundred dollars today. So you know it only takes. Yeah. I don't know how many days worth of gameplay to make things happen. Ugh. I, I assume you can get stuff quicker done if you have a multiplayer session because people can be doing stuff. Yeah, I mean you're you can doing the stuff. AI trains help, but like I don't think I don't know if the car, the money in career mode is terribly balanced, but. Uh... They're gonna they're gonna take your fucking legs, dude. If you don't pay, Cake Boss seventy two nine months already. Time flies. What Thank happens you. if you don't pay or it's auto pay? I assume it's auto pay, but I don't know. When when you don't pay, they just start taking engines from you. You'll you'll wake it's up and the land is gone. Is here. You go into receivership. Right. So milestones, Dillsboro engine service. Is it uh, no fueling stand? Oh, that's cheap. No, no, fu no fueling oh, stand diesel, is just diesel. diesel. Engine oh. service is what you need. If okay. you own a receivership, what's going to be the new name of the East and DT? Four grand. You have to come with another one. Southern Pacific. <laughs> is that how that works? Southern Pacific. But now I have to pay more money tomorrow. But I mean, that no, would no, no, save no. me running the choo choo all the way across the, the universe. Engine service facility at Dillsboro. Pow. That just happened. Yo! Ah, roundhouse! House Ooh. round! Roundhouse! Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! That just pops in. Pow! Roundhouse! We'll be adding roundhouses. And then there's now there's a standpipe, and oh, the standpipe was there was a standpipe at the station. So now that we have two standpipes there, okay. But now we also have coal. We have a coal tipple. Uh, and it has 38 tons of coal in it. They did not choose to be mean. <laughs> that's a, that's really nice. I was, that I was about really to be nice. really sad for you being like, oh man, it probably doesn't have any coal in it. Uh, in in my dire straits here, but and you got a roundhouse. There was in. there was a thought. A thought was had. Thank you. Uh, that's quality of life. Uh, inside that brain. Okay, so now we just gotta hope that 0.2 tons of coal can get us to Dillsboro. If not, the passenger train can shove us the rest of the way there, right? Does the passenger train need coal? Uh, good question. Probably not. The Atlantic holds a shit ton. Yeah, God, no, not, not at all. Okay. Yeah, the mogul, like, that's the biggest complaint is the mogul does not really hold any coal we sell anything it'll probably be this thing it's a cute little dude but we you know moguls they're adorable we do like it that's a cute little choo choo moguls are cute do you know the the mogul boiler in shama they got a stationary is that what those boilers are they're from moguls uh they're they're from moguls they're from class uh i think it's it's the one before the class 47, which is the T12. Uh, let me fucking check. Uh, 47 is a T12. Or yeah. T12. Because uh, I uh, go to dnrgw.net, aka. It's, uh, it's from a class 45. 45 or 45 and a half? 
Uh, 45, because the 45s are two six O's and the 45 and a half are four six O's. Okay. And uh, the boilers in Chama are from those engines, which is very interesting. Neat. I've yeah. seen those and I've seen the crinkly crown sheet in the one of them. Ooh. 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 I mean, Ruffles have ridges. Stationary <laughs> boilers. They won't blow up the final two surviving roundhouse stalls of uh, the DNRGW. Just, just minor technicalities. It, 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 it does pain me that the CNS and Cholera Midland have more surviving roundhouse stalls than the Uh Yeah, I guess the is... the Durango roundhouse burned, didn't it? Yep. Uh, we would, and and recently the uh, Ogden roundhouse was demolished because that was still around. I forget what year was demolished, but that was it was recent, somewhat recent. Uh, now we have two, the ones in Chama. Uh, and then the CNS ones are Como and the five-ish stalls that are now part of uh, Elitch's from the shops. And then Color Midland ones are, is uh, now a little shopping mall in Colorado Springs. Would you count the ones up in the Are those still there? Oh yeah, those are still there as well. Yeah, I almost forgot those. Uh, which, fun fact, had BN paint at one point because <laughs> they survived stupid long in service. The boot actually put dirty and I passed the uh, one in the spring and pointed it out to us in the region of Capital, Colorado. Oh yeah, yeah. The one, I, I've been to the Color Midland ones there. They're Sol really cool. SolidWorks, get the fuck out of here. Thank you for the five dollars, but fuck you. <laughs> I'll oh, see you on Tuesday, right. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the so there's a restaurant in the Midland ones in Colorado Springs, and the restaurant's actually we still gotta go there. Good. Yeah, I, I, was I, I have say, yet. To, we, we stopped there for like gas or something, or was that near the Culvers? Uh, no, that was that was near the Culvers. I've I've been there. Oh no, they we. Have... The no, little... we stopped there on the way up to Pikes, I think. For uh, Transformers. Why does it feel like the stroke of this engine's too long? Oh. I mean, hey, don't judge. Just because yours isn't as long. <laughs> you know, I was gonna stay quiet this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. I, I wasn't gonna say it either, but. But hey, if it gets the job done, you know. Ooh, note from Jimmy. If you reserve the upstairs of the restaurant, there's still some really cool hardware up there. Oh, that'd be, oh. That'd be worth Ooh. going to go see. I, I, gotta go, I gotta go down to Colorado Springs again and go to the roundhouses. Because uh, those are those those were the main Colorado Midland roundhouse shops uh, with a little interchange there. And um, yes, Molly, it is Colorado Mountain Brewery. I, I remember I, I saw them briefly because they had the little Wild West Museum next to it or nearby to it, and we stopped there briefly to look at them. But yeah, I mean, I'd be down for a party at uh at the brewery. Oh, I wouldn't be able to come and, and drink. Oh, man. I mean, they have food there. It's not just a brewery. It's a full restaurant, so uh, you'd be fine. I guess... I guess I'd be the designated driver for that time, right? Once I got my license. I'm always the driver. Ah. Uh, Ask Heiss. I'm always angry. <laughs> That's my secret cap. That's my secret cap. I'm always drunk. <laughs> That's my secret cap. I'm always fucking oh, what, silly. What makes <laughs> me a good demo good man? Good demo man? No! We do it 18 fucking times! Oh, not this. That, that reminds me, I need to send you a video. Someone took the entire uh, Meet the Team series and just like removed words from it that were not necessary, so it still has. It's called Meet Team. 
and they just took out a bunch of words, but the meaning of the thing is still there. So it's Why just... does this sound like some dumb bullshit fucking Zoomer meme that I'm going to be literally too old to understand? No, it's, it's <laughs> uh, what makes good demo men? Bad demo men wouldn't be here. And that's it. What did or... I say? What did I say about dumb Zoomer memes that I'm going to be too old to understand? <laughs> Doctor, you sure this work? No. Efficiency. Only one way to find out. Ah, this is the bug that I've run into several times. Is sometimes the water tower does not feel like water towering. This is like the uh, only core functionality big. that I've run into in the, in the game being in early access that does not seem to want to work. Somebody ping Adam. Somebody clip uh, this and send it to Adam. That's that's why I'm glad they're doing like early access stuff so you you can report bugs like this. It to does them not it does for, not for rotate. Do Rotate banana. Rotate banana. My brain cell tonight. <laughs> sorry, yeah, I had your brain cell for a second, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. It's the, the, the whole Dergwa thing, I get it. <laughs> it's the Dergwa thing. All right, I'm going to spot for coal before I run out of coal. It, it's the grander good brain cell. I can accept this. All right, deal. Where I'm 68. I'm glad they have at least one Colorado engine in this game, because uh, I remember, like, months ago when I asked Bupkis if there'd be any Colorado engines because of Foamer, he said no, and I was like, aw. There is one? And then, uh -oh. there, there's Strasbourg 90. And oh, yeah, that is that's Great Western 90, that's right. Great Western Railway, a.k.a. the Superior GWR. Fight me. Um, okay, the coal shoot doesn't work either. What? Aw, yeah. oh, shoot. Lime this man. Are we... <laughs> Did you remember to fill the, the coal shoot with coal? It says it has 38 tons of coal. Oh, that's working in oh. my game. What the fuck? Yeah, this is the only thing I've run into is the fuel. I guess it was only the water. I haven't had a problem with coal until literally right now. When you need absolutely need it. Yep. Coal what if maybe save and... Relaunch, yeah, save and reload. Can do that. Where, where's, where's the, uh, on and off again? where's the, the brown engine? Oh, the brown engines run past where it was supposed to run to. That's cool. Come back, come back, brown train. Come back. You have the slightest idea how Whoops. little that narrows it down. Oh, the chat is just lines now. Uh, what have I done? That's. Uh, it's uh, been worse. Yeah. <laughs> it has been far worse. Off that one line up at the same stream. Exactly. I mean, that was fun. Yesterday's stream was also full of lines. These people were just cracking jokes. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad I missed that one, but I was busy coming back and read out. Train of Lights looked like it was awesome. I was hoping was that a... I was going to be able to go, but Polar Express consumes my soul. Yeah, Train of Lights was a lot of fun, and so is going to the museum the next day. I'm still obsessing over that one photo I got of the 25. I'm not sure I saw that one. I saw both your posts, but I didn't look through every single picture, I don't think. Yeah, I, that one picture I posted separately recently, and I also put in, like, a half a dozen discords, too, so. I'll have to look been doing a bunch of busy things today. So I'm going to be honest, I don't know if you missed terribly much from yesterday's stream, because I definitely did not walk away at one point to go do dishes. <laughs> he did do that. It's true. Let's see. How we can spot this thing. Let's see if we can get coal or water into this one before we take it into the shop for the night. Okay, coal works here, so. And now we watch the coal load. We still have 27 tons of coal here. <clears throat> How long have I been live? Uh, goodness, yeah, we've been up for two hours and 46 minutes. And we've yet to do, we've played for five and a half hours in game. Which makes sense, because we're doing two to one time speed. Uh, 
and we haven't we skipped one hour earlier to load the uh the log log flats these guys the flats of the logs the flatty flats i thems so 300 skeleton logging cars oh boy cory gibson why did the scarecrow win an award because he was outstanding in his field you and Ban Dan are just gonna start this right now i can smell it it is time god this thing only holds three tons of coal that is depressing that is literally depressing 346 holds six tons and 346 this, is is that? this is the sierra number three so that that's an actual number. Is that Sierra really? Sierra three was built as a culvert. I did a deep dive on this because I couldn't believe it when that when this engine was uh put into the game, and I'm like three tons feels very wrong. Did a that... huge deep dive. It was built as a coal burner. Was built with two ton capacity, um, and more water space because Arizona desert, and then upgraded to three tons and less water capacity. Sierra got it and said, "This is dumb. Uh, we're gonna make everything oil." So, uh, welcome to the wa- Oh, there we go! The water worked this oh. time! <gasps> Alright. No. Look at that. <laughs> oh, look! Ah, look who's joined it. us! Hey! It's Tristone. Corey Gibson, what do you call a belt made of watches? A waste of time! <laughs> Limes. Brooks Moses, Corey would like to try and impress you by painting the MW MOW truck's hive is green, but he's no good at pickup lines. <laughs> More lines. DNRGW, Brown Engine thinks she's going to try and escape. Brown, Brown Engine... Brown Engine can try and escape, but it, it's going to get browned again. The, this is the engine that I've hurt the most and the worst. <laughs> poor Choo Choo. This poor fucking engine. You, you, want, you want to see if you can try your luck with the with number, with number three then? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, if we can get the fuel and water into it, uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna save and reload before I try to fill that again. I guess we could teleport over there and see if it works, but Okay. Full on water. To the shops with ye. Oh, Rex. Rex um... Anger, I heard recently that a four foot three inch psychic escaped confinement nearby. Still to be caught, the local police are warning citizens to be on the lookout for a small <laughs> medium at large. I've heard that one before, but I've, I love it. I've, good. I've heard that one before as well. Yeah. And great. Corey Gibson, an engineer for four months. Why did the bicycle fall over? Because it was too tired. And Stephen <laughs> Binkley, welcome to the farm. Just keep the limes coming. Uh, Burned bacon. I can never get in on the jokes in the chat. Everyone else here is wittier than I. The, the, the joke is we're, we're, we're at wittier on the railroad. See, uh, that's, that's where we are. Uh, uh, screams it's fine okay that's uh that's all cool there well we will go back to dillsboro um and see if we can fix our choo-choo yeah you may want to hire someone for the shop there uh not fix it sorry uh uh fuel it oh it shouldn't the be shop, a big deal the shop crews are gonna want to hire pay because you don't pay them enough for this shit <laughs> Seriously, still? All right, we're gonna save and reload. Okay. Hold on. Corey Gibson, why couldn't the leopard play hide and seek? Because he was always spotted. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. But also, god damn it. You know, I tried playing with another big cat once. He just wanted to get, be lying around all day. No. <laughs> Lines. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I guess the next thing to try. Oh! Finally. Slightly different spot. Okay. There you go. Anger. I've often wondered how roundhouses work since you can never square your corners in one. 
That's a Jimmy line right there. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy from the cog always makes can't get a corner can't get cornered in the roundhouse jokes. Yeah. Roundhouse. I mean, he's online, so chances are he is in chat. I think I've seen him there earlier. Yeah, he's been popping in and out. <laughs> Corey Gibson, what's orange? It sounds like a parrot. A carrot. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there's Jimmy. There's Jimmy. I was hoping the roundhouse joke would turn up. Yeah. It, it, it I, came around. I bet you No, we you were talking were. about carrots, not turnips. Oh, come on, mainline. All right, locations. <laughs> Let's see. We now have Dis Dillsboro. Uh, do we not have? Where is the Dillsboro engine service location? Oh. Hmm. It didn't pop up in my wait, yeah, pile no, of. Oh. oh no! Wait. Oh no! It's not there. It should be. Well, that's that's a bug. Yep, there's a bug yeah, for you. Bug. Someone in chat, and here I thought the roundhouse was off the table. God damn it! Well, I'm that person. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little. I was gonna like, oh, okay, well, we flavor text park our engine in the roundhouse overnight. Like that'd be fine. Um, and then, oh, you know, oh, we could hire somebody, and then it could get fixed a little bit too before you go to interchange. Um, and then it did not appear in the menu of anxiety. That's what I'm officially calling this menu because <laughs> the entire game is in here and it's entirely too much and it's entirely unreadable. That's uh, that's my biggest frustration. <laughs> you you start looking through the menus and your eyes lose over. It's Pretty strange. much. You want to know the best way to like deal with that anxiety? Just don't look at it. Yep. Can confirm. In, in got you know in railroad we trust. You'll you'll make money or you'll lose money. Whatever. It's fine. Synth. Fun fact: A roundhouse cube is called a sphere house. Not sure the math checks out there. Yeah, it's pi r squared, but or cubed, pi r cubed, would be that. But funny. All right. Well, that choo choo's Jimmy, gonna be watered. The Jimmy other choo choo's been be... fueled and watered. The other choo choo's ready for its return journey. Passenger uh, Jimmy, train tomorrow. Jimmy in chat says, "Can't be right. Pi around." Jimmy, that is true. One Jimmy. day there will be a live liming on the Discord of the Jimmy. I would certainly hope that we can make that happen. The great limoning will eventually happen. Someone needs to save Mark's expression from that. Oh, it'll happen. Corey Gibson, you've heard that the government is banning the use of round hay bales for use as cattle feed. Apparently cows can't get a square meal from a round bale. <laughs> <laughs> the limes! The limes hurt! Oh <laughs> no! We we may have to expand the line budget here. <laughs> I I may have to put in a new line order as chief clerk. I need to. We, I don't think we have the budget for that. Have we okay, but it... yet? Nate talks <laughs> cars with the pile of limes. Good man. If right. we get more limes, though, we need to make sure that we lock the boxcar for when they inevitably ferment so that Carl doesn't get into him this time. It's prob oh, right, 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 probably right. smart. All right, I'm going to teleport to the next day just to see what things look like, but then uh, I think it's time for me to jump off stream. We played through a day in single player, and uh, that was a, that was a lot. So we'll sleep okay. and see, uh, see what we see tomorrow here. What's going to be the next thing that we have to do? Probably something. Let's see. Probably something. Let's see. Oh, Rex Anger. Rex needs to know how to escape any building. All he needs is a two by four and a saw. Because as everyone knows, two halves make a whole. <laughs> Damn it. Mm. Terrace and company. It took a train home this Halloween, but we ran late. Understandable. That night they were running a skeleton crew. 
<laughs> it's infectious. <laughs> I think I was on that train. I had a bone to pick with some of them. Lime. I do not find these jokes humor. <laughs> Lime. Corey Gibson. Right here. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants in case he got a hole in one? These are tickling my funny bone. Someone else, Telepon, join the club. <laughs> that no, no, Van Tam. <laughs> Damn it! Beautiful. Oh, of course, that's already been done and ready to interchange, and that car is never going to be unloaded. <laughs> Brooks Moses, night shift. We ain't got no stinking night shift. No. Corey Gibson, why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. Yeah. Yeah. Goddamn. So is that tank car being unloaded by the solo cup? Apparently. The tank cars <laughs> take forever to unload. Is it's unloaded this the by same the solo cup that I had to mix epoxy in? Probably. It's, it's Man, being their union is really good. They just I need to get more passenger cars so that out. this passenger train can continue to not make money. Red solo cup. I fill, I fill you, up. you up. Let's, Let's have, have a party. party. Proceed to party. I love oh, fun you, fact. So look up. My cousin grew up in Lubbock, Texas. So that already sets the scene for the kind of people we're talking about. At his mm -hmm. high school, they banned them from singing that song because they sang it so fucking much. <laughs> We've got, uh, we've got, we've got a fair amount of train cars to play with tomorrow. All right. Well, it'll be fun. Uh, we'll end the stream with Kenosha here. <laughs> so let me catch these top chats and we'll jump off. Uh, Railman1225. Hey, you get paid tomorrow. So YOLO. Here's a joke. May or may not get lined for it. I bet you will. I once asked a conductor how many times his train is derailed. He replied... I don't know, it's hard to keep track. The the birds are liming uh, you. The birds are liming you. <laughs> you love to see the birds. No. <laughs> Jacob Jacob Pfeiffer <laughs> number two has a roller coaster tycoon two train whistle. Kind of, not really. They have a CN five chime in the game, in the game, and it and it doesn't. It's it's not it's not good. It's not good. What would that we don't we don't need to boot the game back up to show that off. It's not good. And Corey Gibson, my friend, <laughs> thank you for the fifty gifted memberships, and thank you for the puns. the The limes are not out of spite or out of jest. They are out of uh yes, very good. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, probably put out a video on Railroader this week with uh, with Khan, perhaps, and perhaps a little review on my end as well. So, thanks so much for watching. We will catch you all next time.